Tech. Uh, let's see. A, a Smaster 33 sent $1 on Rumble. Captain, I loved you in Kangaroo Jack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. Yeah, I miss, yeah, I miss your channel, man. He said, I okay. love you in Kangaroo okay. Jack. Wait, wait, can, can, you, can you hear me? I can hear you now. I think it's because it's connected to Bluetooth. So hold on. Let me disconnect my Bluetooth real quick. Okay. 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 Hold on. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. This happens all the time. Okay. Uh, where are settings? Also, the link from earlier. Can you still hear me? Yeah. yeah. We have a different link because the storms here in Merida knocked us out. So I sent you the new link uh, and tried to put the other link underneath. You did a great job quote, quote tweeting it, but... Um, we're we're on like our third link today because the storms here have been so bad they knocked us out a couple times. Do you have a new tweet up? Uh, yeah. Let me let me find the new tweet. Um, yeah. Uh, here I'll link that to you. Uh, let's see. I'll I'll put that on Twitter. Hold on. Uh, give me one sec. We're doing it live. We're doing it live on the kill stream, ladies and gentlemen. I do the same. Yeah, I do the same thing. I don't pause it. I just keep it going. Yeah, we just keep it. It going. makes the people feel involved. Like if they're your fans and if they follow on you, they'll stay. They won't yeah. complain. Yeah, exactly. They're right at home. That's right. They're right at home. Uh, but yeah, it's not her fault because I tagged her in the original one, and then uh, storms knocked they knocked the power out and everything, and so uh, kind of took us off the air. But uh, we're back uh here with captain and lily okay are you good is everybody good mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah, perfect now what are we here captain you told me that you wanted me to set this up yeah i did actually um because when i saw it so i remember back when she first you know used the term broke ass niggas i don't know if you're familiar with me uh lily or not i'm um probably the only black guy in uh ralph's hall of fame on his channel and um, so when I saw her use the term broke ass niggas and then I was watching everybody's uh, response and then I was watching her response and I wanted to have a conversation because I never had a conversation uh, on Ralph's channel with a female that thought like white men. And so that's what. So <laughs> and so for my audience. Right. So for my audience and I don't know if you uh, uh, subscribe to this or not, but I do not believe that we should intermarry. Like, I do not believe that a black should marry a white and vice versa. Do you agree? I mean, I don't really have a major problem with it, but I mean, I feel like there are cultural issues, you know, like right. the two cultures are so different. So it's like, you want to be equally yoked. You want somebody that's most in common. There you go. So, that's a, that's a perfect, that's a perfect way to say it. you want to be equally yoked. So the main, one of the biggest brushbacks I always have, like I even watched the interview you had with uh, my brother, Tommy Sotomayor. Mm -hmm. And so they always uplift the uh the white woman so to speak like they'll have no problem pointing out the things that white men do but then when it comes to the white woman they always give her a pass so in these rare opportunities of having a conversation with a white woman such as yourself that's why i wanted to have the conversation um okay so that's what sparked it because i heard you a few times say that it wasn't race related when you said broke ass niggas Right. It was just like, dude, like I say, like I call my son, come here, nigga. He's my <laughs> nigga, you know, it's, right. <laughs> he's but like, I would disagree. <laughs> okay. No, no problem. I'm actually glad you said that. I would disagree that it wasn't race related though. Only okay. because I've never seen nobody of your ilk or of your kind talk that way and it not be race related. Like when you say you call your son a nigga, right? Mm -hmm. Is he? But it. So would he be? He's not real? black, by the way. No, I'm not. Everybody, I'm not, everybody not. says he's half black. He's not black. He's white. Okay. 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 <laughs> On record, across my heart. They make that up about her. That's why she's clarifying that. Yeah. I was saying that she got a black baby. Yeah, they try to say that. Yeah. I don't. But when I found out, I'm gonna tell you when I found out she was a single mom. I thought then I said maybe that's why she's saying nigga because she thinks she a black woman, and so maybe that's why. Right. So, um, that's no, a wait. joke, by the way. Yeah, that was a joke. I know. I got. Um, <laughs> Oh, okay. No sweat. So, but you are being a single mom. So I was kind of trying to dig into like your history, but I didn't really, there ain't a lot to know about you, which ain't really a bad thing because of course you don't want a lot of your personal life out there. But from what I do find you would be now, and this is for my audience as well. Like you would be what they, everybody thought was a trad wife. That, that's what they thought you were, right? Right. Everybody 
picked up i guess cooking is trad so i mean i figured we all ate but i guess only trad wives eat no nah, but you was looking a little like a uh, cleaver from the uh leave it the beavers what's the what's the mother the mother from a, oh you might be too young to know nah, that show. I, know um, what you're no, about. I, <laughs> I can't remember the name though yeah yeah leave it the leave it the beaver yeah, show yeah. the cleavers like you yeah. was dressed up there you was dressed like a little trad mom though you wasn't dressed like the typical 20 because you're 25 right you're a young lady right yeah yeah, so you wasn't June Cleaver. Yeah, somebody in my chat June said it. Cleaver. So you wasn't really dressed like a 25. You was dressed like you was trying to go with the little trad route. And I think the more, I think when they found out you wasn't a single mom, excuse me, that you were a single mom, it kind of took away being the traditional um, mother. And then I also saw the interview you did with Candace where you said you were trying to change the, the way we look at conservative. Because I think conservative is where the trad would fit in, right? Am I correct? Right. right. Yeah. Well, I think the cons conservatives, it's such a small box. And if we want, to, like, I'm all about winning. You know, I want to win. I want to win the election. I want to win the culture wars. So if you win, you got to bring in more players. We, and we have so, the box is so small that we don't really, you know, we, we don't really appeal to normal people. You know, I would just say I'm kind of normal. I guess it's not normal to say broke ass niggas. Right. Um, Especially a white woman, especially a white woman, <laughs> and then calling a white woman calling her kid a nigga is unheard of in America. So I don't, I don't know if we can call you conservative either. I don't know. I would say I'm an alternative conservative. I don't really like any kind of box next necessarily, mm -hmm. but I would just say I'm just like a normal white bitch, you know. Okay, but okay, like, but when you say that, right? So here, here's <laughs> where when we have this conversation, you'll get brushed back and stuff like that and from what i see you don't really mind it um and what i mean but i don't mean necessarily in a disrespectful way but i do have to you know questions that i want to ask you yeah if we can get clarity on so like when you say um alternative is there any is there like a community with you where y'all just walk around calling each other niggas and shit like that or is it just that <laughs> you think because i heard you say your family don't like it because and, and i'm gonna be upfront with you my goal in this dialogue is to show that it was racist when you said it I don't have a problem with it being racist though. I have a problem with you hiding that it was racist. Okay, well, here's the thing. You okay. don't, you're not me and it actually wasn't racist. Like if I wanted to, I mean, I've got plenty of actual racist things to say and I'll say, I mean, right now, if you'd like, but-, yeah. um, but <laughs> I, got, I got a racist thing you said. I got one already. I got okay. one, don't worry. But in that instance, in that instance, it actually was not racial. Because I wasn't even talking about black guys. Like the girls that I know who are married to these broke ass niggas, mm -hmm. they're married to white broke guys. So it was I wasn't even talking about black guys. Right. So yeah. when they heard you calling broke ass niggas, how did they feel about it? Like do your girlfriends, do y'all all get around each other and say that? Like is it a crew of y'all? Like how many of y'all get together and use the term? Or is it just hey, a you thing? You know what I think it is? I think mm -hmm. what the problem here is it's a generational gap. So everybody my age, I hear nigga all the time from mm -hmm. tons of different people from like black good old, maybe it's because i live like in a smaller town and like the black people in our town are like good old boys you know they're not like hood black people mm -hmm. so everybody's just like kind of everybody kind of gets along to be honest and i hear nigga all the time like my brothers say nigga. do you have you have black friends uh I know black people. I don't really have any right. Black yeah, that's a, yeah. Because I heard you say you ain't got no black friends, and I'm for <laughs> sure you didn't get no new ones. Hey, I got you, you spent... right? No, nah, we not friends. No, <laughs> no, no. Wait, no wait, let me say this. Let me say this, to Jari. I want to. I do want to say this. I'm... Hey, wait. Before you say. Before you I'm... say that, Ralph. Y'all see how she tried to walk me into that one? She tried to me right there. She said, "But we, I got you. No, you ain't got me. No I just way. Want to get on the Good. I, I just want to say this. First off, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, born in Memphis, lived right across the bridge in West Memphis. Uh, both places, majority black uh, cities, right? Uh, and Three Six Mafia, you know, that's those are my guys. Right. Uh, you know, that's right. what I grew up with. Um, I, oh, you grew that, up with them? Well, not literally, but grew up listening oh, oh. to them. You know, oh, they yeah, were I like the I kings of Memphis, follow. basically, right? Like that's that, they mm -hmm. ruled the radio, uh, and so. And I did have black friends, uh, plenty. I don't have any here in Mexico, <laughs> but there are a few uh, black people. You don't see many, uh, but uh, I, you know, I grew up with plenty of black friends, um, and I grew up with with white friends too. And saying that word, um, it would get said. It would get said all the time, basically, by everybody. Um, yeah, but, right? But you knew what Kane was saying that word, though, right? Well, it just meant like. 
you know, it was just a colloquial phrase, really, right? Uh, I know if I would have said it uh, with the ER version, uh, it would have been a problem. Uh, Wait, why, you know? why do y'all say that? Why do y'all say, if I say it with the ER, is I said it with the GA, not the ER. You know there's no difference to a black person. Now, I'm not talking about the cool black people that apparently you grew up with. That well, yeah, they didn't care. Well, right, but they didn't say they maybe they did care and they just didn't say anything uh but uh yeah they didn't care where i where i grew up from it was just kind of something that was said and you know it's said in rap songs like if i'm singing a rap song i don't stop and like not say it like you know i listen to a lot of rap like, right am i supposed to not right. like in that movie song? um white chicks when um yeah when they was in the car and they didn't want to say the n-word and then they said nobody's well, like the around. chris rock bit right he's just like you can say around. you can say you can say it when you're singing the song right uh have you ever seen that chris rock bit right yeah uh, yeah I've right you that. don't have I've to stop that. yourself and not say yeah, it. yeah it's like, a lot in a lot of movies you see I, I remember in the movie haunted house when the white guy wanted marlon wayans to let him say the n-word and stuff like that so i get the environments that we're in where uh white people can be around black people um Arabs could be around black people. Africans could be around black people, and the word is allowed to, to be said. Semester, I get that $1 part. On Rumble. But in the I'm moment that right now. Lily said it, you said it on a live stream, which I think was intentional to garner uh, attention. Even when I think when you lost your job, you called the black people puppets for falling well, for the game. Well, that was to piss them off. I was, okay, to be fair, I was actually really fucking mad at the blacks. Mm -hmm. in that moment because i had been receiving hundreds of death threats they had doxed my address they just got me fired so i'm allowed to be a little angry so i was gonna i posted that just to piss them off so now from a responsible uh, position now and it's your life so i say crazy shit all the time i i've i mean even on this platform that's one thing i like about ralph's <laughs> platform is he lets me get away with saying anything even about white people so i get it yeah. so i'm not here to make you apologize or anything again i just want Black people. Well, good. That would that be a waste word. of your time. I would never apologize. Right. No, exactly. Just like if you asked me to, I wouldn't. And so yeah. I just want black men to see white women act just like white men. So when you said it, you're saying that you had no idea that people would complain. I don't think you're that slow. Well, I'm I am kind of retarded, but um <laughs> in that moment, I was just it just kind of slipped out. Whenever I talk, I don't like I don't do takes. Obviously, that's why my videos are so half assed. But I just get up there and say whatever I want, and I sometimes I say crazy shit, and I don't mm -hmm. mean because that's just how I talk. And I was like, I don't care. I'm posting it. Okay, so then what what transitioned you now? So you say you're not conservative. Would you say because of well, the flat? I'm conservative, but I don't know if I. You said alternative, with... right? Right. You right. said right because I think the conservative is like a husband and a wife, and so you're not a wife, you're just a baby mom, because you're not right. with the guy, right? You're you're just yeah. a baby mama, right? Yeah. So as a, as a baby no, mama... I'm basically black. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you put that ben on black people? five dollars on Rumble. Like, is this your way to assimilate? Like, this, and this is what white people do. This is how white people pander to black Foster people. Toad sent so because you're a single mom, now you're black. Are you on welfare? Are you on welfare? No. <laughs> you, you, will you be on welfare? No. you know y'all... Cause y'all number one in welfare, though white people. So that wouldn't be a black thing. That's why I was asking you that. Okay. Um, well, you know, I'm even a felon. Hey, I'm a felon, and I have two kids out of wedlock. So you know, oh, I, 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 you know, uh, I don't so know. Now I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all what that makes both of y'all. That makes <laughs> y'all American. Because there's nothing more felonistic than white Americans. We learned to be felons from y'all. We did. It's not the other way around where y'all learned how to be felons from us. We learned we how to speak better. You say what? We just do it better. Even if you want to say do it better, so you can't say that you're black then. That's my point. Thank you. You just proved my point. When, if you're saying you you'll do it, yeah, if you're going to say you do it better, then you can't say that you're black. You have to say, I'm white, mm -hmm. right? Say it with me. Say it with me. I'm, I'm white. white. There you go. <laughs> ain't, nothing wrong, ain't nothing wrong with saying I'm white. And it's so good to be white that you put up a video. What's interesting, um, excuse me, you shared a video about and you said the first amendment rights being violated i think you just put that up today right yeah that was a video where they locked up this white woman because she was standing in front of this place saying nigga 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 like it was going out of style and then you said now did you see the whole video she said the hard r though right captain i don't care if she said nigger faggot whatever you should be locked up for saying that like right but did you see the whole video they locked her up 
No, what I'm asking you is, did you see the whole video? No. Or did you? So you didn't I watch the first part and got mad. Yeah, yeah. So she watched. So you watched like the first ten seconds or whatever of it, and then yeah. he was like, "Fuck that!" The First Amendment. And I would be, I don't. And if you actually watched the whole video, they didn't have a problem with her saying the word "nigger." They actually took care of her. If you actually watched the video, so the way the video goes is, and I, I, I knew you. Now, when you say you retarded, you just might be right, because I when I watched, when I watched that I'm video, I, you said who? I've been saying it. Nobody believes that me. You retarded. <laughs> that you, no problem. <laughs> so in that video, and this is this is uh like a great lesson, you know, in the future, you just want to watch the whole thing. So in that video, after they lock her up and they drag her off, they show the beginning. It's like they did it in reverse, because I guess they wanted the clickbait of uh, seeing this white woman get arrested for saying nigga. My dick moved and so when, said the hard when you watch the whole video, she's drunk, clearly. We agree, right? She's drunk. Yeah. See, these, there's two black women that's actually just trying to sit her down in a chair because she's drunk. So they're t trying to take care of this white woman. As they're trying to sit her down, she's punching them. She's kicking them. And they're not even trying to fight back. That's how kind they are being to her. And instead, she rewards them by calling them niggas, bitches, X, Y, Z, when they're trying to take care of her. And then when you put on your post, if the roles were reversed, what do you think the roles were reversed would be? Do you think that they would have the same care for, like, if it's two white women and this black woman is punching them, talking bad to them, do you think that they would have sat her down in the chair, try to help her? I think most white people have so much white guilt that they would have tried to not press charges. They wouldn't have wanted to get the police involved. And, it, know. and then oh. the cops. Cops are all afraid of being racist, so they, they don't even want to touch it, you know? They're afraid of tensions. What cops are afraid of being racist? A lot of them because, I mean, look at most cops. When they get when they get involved with a black person, it, they always, shoot them. Gets fun. it always gets fun to where it's like a racist thing instead of uh, he was violating, he was arrested, he was uh, resisting arrest, and that's why I had to tase him, not just because he had a parking light out or something. But, they don't, but they're not afraid to arrest him, they're not afraid to shoot him, they're not afraid to unalive him. So I don't know if I can go with the white guilt. What I know in, in the history of our interaction with white people is that if that was reversed and it's this drunk black girl and it's two white girls and she's punching them, kicking them, calling them all type of racial epithets, she'd probably be dead right now. Probably be dead. Do you remember the Montgomery brawl from last year? Yeah, with everybody thinking that's such a win. Yeah, it's right. a real no problem. But in the, woman in the, when she's sitting down on the ground. In the Montgomery brawl, do you re, do you know that all he was asking them to do was move their boat because it was parked illegally? Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to do that, and then they decided to jump him. And so that's how white people are with interacting with black people. I'm trying to give you like a live example fortunately for that that day you had black people that wasn't going to take it and they end up beating the shit out of white people that day mm -hmm. but normally we die normally right well, you agree right the thing here's the thing um the black community seems to jump to violence really quickly so white people kind of know that so we have to be more on the defensive than ever it's not because we're racist but it's because it's like well generally the pattern is when there's a an issue a brawl it always turns into, you know, a violent altercation instead of just, you know, fuck you, fuck you. It always turns violent. Can you violent. prove, can you people prove are that? A little, I mean, you can look up all the millions of videos out there of black people fighting in McDonald's and busting down. Let me, you know. let, me let me see if I could give a live example, right? I'm going to see if I can present um, on here. I'm going to show you the kindness because you said usually when there's an altercation. So I'm going to use the incident that we were just talking. Let me see if I could share. You should hey, be able Ralph, to. I, can share, I should be able to share. You should be able to. If you see a little butt, the arrow pointing up uh, it's, right it's next a, to the smiley face. Right right next to the smiley. What? On the Activities one. chat. Let me see. Yeah, I'm on the Google one. I'm looking to Present see. Now. Oh, wait, wait. It's next to the. Oh, oh, yeah, I see it now. Share. So I'm going to share a window. So let me see if you can see this here. Can you see this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I got to dismiss that. Okay. So now I'm gonna play this is the video that uh Lily and I was just talking about, right? So in the beginning of this video, you can see, can y'all hear it or no? No, we can't hear it. I can hear it. You probably turn it up. What about now? No, we still can't hear uh, it. I don't know if it'll play through the sound, but let me see. You know what? Maybe the way I shared, I'm gonna stop sharing. 
because sometimes if you share okay i have to share and i don't know if i can share it with audio i'm not sure um, because when you share a window or the entire screen it doesn't allow you to share the audio so let me see maybe if i can click the uh the twitter link for it i'll try that way now but in the video that i was going to show because lily tried to say that when black whites interact with black they um it usually ends in violence and i did i actually uh reject that term and i was going to use two uh recent examples the one video that lily uh shared on her page and then the other was there's a brother a black guy in um in uh I think Jersey that just recently went to jail because um, he's actually doing time because he actually knocked out a um, a white guy. So now at face value, it looks like he knocked out the white guy because of um, uh, no reason. But this was after months of him tormenting them, calling them nigger and stuff like that. And at some point, I guess he just got tired of it. I think that's what uh, happened with that. But that's I mean, I don't know how that's like a like if I knock out somebody, I'm gonna get arrested too. That's just how laws work. You know, he got arrested not because the cops are racist or because he was justified, but because he knocked somebody out, which is assault and battery. No, I'm not talking about the, what the cops did. Remember, you said when blacks and in, whites interact with blacks, that there's this um, notion of, um, you know, they think that we're gonna get violent immediately. So what I was speaking to was just showing that that's just not true. So I was using that story. So in that story, um, I'm just going to pull it up. In that story, they went through, this is a New Jersey father pleads guilty after his children were repeatedly called the N-word. Judge says he should have called the police instead, which is what you're saying. And I'm not saying he shouldn't have. But when you actually read the story, it tells you that um, his Collins and his wife were leaving the Babes Corner store when Robert May approached them on their bicycle. May went by frog, had repeatedly harassed Collins and his children, addressing them with racial slurs for months. So this ain't something that he did one time. This is something that he did multiple times. So how many times does somebody get to verbally assault you to where you say enough is enough? As opposed to, and he didn't even do nothing. And he just hit it one time, he happened to fall. And I think he didn't die in that moment. He ended up dying later from the complications of the fall because he was an older Wait, gentleman. he died? Yeah, he died. Later, well, I mean, so like, <laughs> I'm not saying he, I'm not saying that uh, he shouldn't have had no charge. I'm saying it was the racism of the white man consistently, and then he tried to attack his wife. Now I don't know about y'all, but would y'all agree that everybody has the right to defend themselves? How did he try to attack his wife? So when it says on this afternoon, May rode directly into Colin's wife after they exited the store, assaulting her with his bike. So he rode his bike directly into his wife. So as he drives his bike into his wife, I think if any man sees, like you may not notice because you don't have a man right now for that protection, but if one of my wives was to, if I was to see one of them get harmed or attacked. One of I'm your gonna, wives? Yeah. You multiple wives? Yeah. So if I see one of them get attacked, oh. I'm going <laughs> to instinctively defend my wife. And I think that's a natural thing. And so my point is just showing now is that, that what he's claiming or is that an official fact of the case that he that he actually that the bike does he just say that or did the did that actually yeah that, did, that's that, how the, that's how um that's the how the media put, okay that's yeah, how, all right okay no, yeah, that's how the witnesses because okay. um that his his defense was self defense but because he died later with the complications they charged it um they actually gave him the least amount of time that he can do. So he's been in jail for some time. He got 31 months, so he have to serve a little bit of time. So he's not going to do the whole 31 months, but he'll be home. My, my point ain't about him getting arrested. I'm not saying whether he should get arrested or not. But my point is that's two incidents where it was unnecessary for them to endure racism. One from the drunk white girl that Lily showed on her Twitter page and the other from this old white man that did the exact same thing. I don't think by nature we think black people don't by nature think to be racist with black people, well, excuse me, with white people, because we know it's not going to benefit us in the end. Me as an Israelite, when I go out and teach on the street and stuff like that, black people defend y'all more than they fight us because we say we shouldn't join white people, we shouldn't be with white people, we shouldn't agree with white people. When we say those things, black people actually fight us more for that. I don't but think here's the any, thing. you're calling me racist and you're the one saying don't have anything to do with black people or white people don't intermarry right. 
sounds more racist to me. So it's kind of rich you coming after me. <laughs> that's my point. I'm that listen, I'm coming after you. Remember when I started the conversation, I said I am racist. <laughs> and racism just means that in, in my from my position, white people, y'all were crazy with it, but racism from my position just means that I prefer my people. Like my people, my people's condition matters to me more than someone else's condition first. That's what it means to me. Y'all racism is different. Y'all racism is broke ass niggas like you using. Y'all racism is systematic oppression, drug epidemic. And y'all so racist that y'all put yourselves on drugs just to get us hooked on drugs. <laughs> That's how racist y'all are. Okay, that's retarded, dude. <laughs> you have to it? back that up with some. Evidence. I'm gonna back it up. When the white man allowed cocaine, weed, especially back in the '60s, the the drugs was initially for the hippies and us. The hippies was y'all. The rest was us. So they didn't have a problem getting y'all high along with it. And when you think about the so-called war on drugs that Reagan and them had, as they was allowing the drugs to come in. They never cared about it until it started affecting y'all. So they knew that y'all were casualties of the war against us. It only became a problem later. So they don't call it the heroin problem. They call it the opioid problem. So they remix what they call it for y'all. So it could be more compassionate. So who are you saying is racist in this instance? The drug dealers, the people selling the drugs or the government? Well, the government is the biggest drug dealer. So I think what you mean more so is I is the guy that takes the drugs from the white guy just as bad as ours. the white guy? Is that how you ask the question? No, I mean, I, I'm just just trying to clarify. Are you saying because you're saying they they white people took the drugs to get black people hooked on it? So are you talking about the drug dealers in this case or the government? I'm talking about the government. I'm saying that they're so racist against us. So how that did that they, work? Did the government send IRS agents out with little packets of coke and hand it to black people? No, that's why I said, well, you're talking about the people that sold it for them because there's there's a classification. So the white man is not the face of drugs in my neighborhood. A black man or a Hispanic man is the face of drugs in my neighborhood. That's why I thought you was asking, is he just as racist as the white man? I would call him a sellout. I would say he's the puppet a doll of the white man and he shouldn't Rumble. be the puppet hey, Captain. of the white man. Good to see but you my back point in bringing the what Someone it, vandalized one of your schools. Well, maybe he's not a puppet to the paint. white man. Maybe, I think maybe they just thought you got he's absolutely so he's absolutely a puppet to the white man. All of listen, anybody that works with the white man for the detriment of black people is their puppet. They pay him. They buy him. I'll give you another example. Jesse Jackson in 70s was against abortion, but in the 80s he was for abortion because the government paid him. He wanted to be president of the United States. So they're puppets. But y'all are so racist, back to my point. Y'all are so racist that you'll even let your own get hooked on drugs. You'll let your own become homeless. You'll let your own be on welfare at the detriment if that can mean we can get destroyed too. Like there ain't I, nobody more racist than them. on the street. I don't think they're thinking that too deep into it. They're just doing drugs and they get hooked on drugs, not because they're trying to take down the, the black man because they're a crackhead. Who, who, who are you saying is the crackhead? Say that one more time. No crackhead on the street who's doing drugs and selling drugs. They're not doing that with this diabolical plan of I'm going to take down the black man. They're crackheads. They're addicted to drugs. Okay. You might want to say the drug dealer don't but do How that. is if that racist, dude? This is wait, quite but, but You might want to say you might want to say that differently. You might want to say the drug dealer is not saying this that I want to take this because a crackhead is the end result of. The white man and the drug dealer selling the drug. So the, the crackhead would be the end result of that. But the drug dealer won't think like that. The drug dealer is probably saying, I just want to help my family, whatever bullshit excuse he wants to make for dealing drugs, which is stupid. Yeah, but he I'm wants talking, to make money so he can buy big gold chains and huge cattle. He thinks he thinks he has to uh make money that way because that's the oppression that your people put us in. And so my only point in bringing that up was to show you that they don't care if you get hooked on drugs. They don't care. Even abortion, even legalizing abortion, which I think you're against abortion, right? Yeah. Well, and if he, you want to go after some racists, you go after uh, Margaret Sanger because that was actually a racist institution. Yeah, that's another white woman. That's what, listen, like you're like the actually, child. She's, she's actually Jewish, so. Yeah, I was going to say you're the child of um, Margaret Sanger, meaning like you, you follow the same pattern of, I'm going to say broke ass niggas. The puppet part you said you was okay. getting. Okay. Okay, dude. Saying broke ass niggas and wanting to slaughter millions of black babies, right. that's a big, big difference. And if anything, he... here's the thing. Here's the thing. 
you guys want to wonder why there's racism, why there's tension between blacks and whites? It's because of this shit. If you have, if you've got two parties and we're walking on eggshells, say you have the black coworker and and ever and the white, the all the white coworkers are in the you know the lunchroom eating and they're shooting the shit and whatever. Well, the black coworker walks in. Well, they're so afraid of like offending her with anything, or maybe they were saying, "Come here, nigga, hand me that bag of chips or whatever." And the white girl. You're saying that's what the white. Yeah, they're just saying themselves. They're just saying. Okay, got you. Right. The black person comes in. Now they're all like, "Oh shit, we don't want to, we don't want to offend, you know, Vaniqua." And now, now there's that tension. If there wasn't all that problem, if everybody wasn't so offended by work, call me cracker, call me whatever white name you want. I'm not offended by that because I'm not a weakling. Um, if everybody wasn't so offended by words, and that's my whole point, stop being offended by words. Stop being a fucking pussy. Words don't hurt. So why is everybody so worried about words? Like you're worried about nigga and oh, that's racist. And I'm going to dig into with my little magnifying glass and prove how racist this was. Maybe it's just people talking to other people. How it, as the people talk, I mean, there needs to be less offense, dude. Like it's not a big deal. It's not racist. And anybody looking any deeper into this whole broke ass niggas thing, you're just trying to find a bad guy because there's not that many bad guys. There's not that many actual racists out there. I'm actually glad you went through your little rant because this is the part that I want everybody to see that she's just like her white counterpart. What I mean by your white counterpart, you don't want it to be racist. Well, first, well, first, let me clarify some. Every job has an HR department. So in the HR department, any job you go to, they say, well, this, you can't say this, you can't say that. So that's rules for nigga, Jew, kite, homo, whatever it may be, because in, in, in a work environment, you have all those different type of terminologies. And so you have to respect each other's uh, privacy. So I would never have an issue if at a job, if I said a word that was inappropriate and HR put me in the office, it just is what it is. Now, outside of that, in the real world, black people suffer from saying wrong words all the time. We suffer from saying the wrong words. We suffer from saying what, we, what word? Any word. If we say Any anything word. about How do the, they suffer exactly. Okay, I'll give an example. Kyrie Irving made a tweet about a book and he couldn't play basketball for like three months. And he didn't even say, matter of fact, he didn't even say a word. He just tweeted a Amazon link to a movie. That's all he did. He didn't do anything more than that. Now you'll probably say um, because they were Jewish, that's why that was the case, you know, because y'all, you know, whites and Jewish people are the same. Y'all don't like when I say that, but y'all are the same people. So you'll probably say that for that. So that's just one example. There's dozens of other examples where, I, matter of fact, I think I have a list of them where black worker was fought. I'm sorry, not that one. Uh, fired a black worker was fired after he's told to forgive and forget over somebody's work uh, racial slur. So we go through that all the time. We're, what we're, exactly did he do though? Like, was he just upset or was he fighting the person or was, there's more to this? The, the white guy. So I, I have the link here, right? So it says black worker fired after he's told to forgive and forget co-workers slur. So the co-worker said something to him that was racially motivated and he was told to forget it. And because he wouldn't forget it, he was fired for it. Yeah, I, I'm not buying that. That's bullshit. There's a live website. This is the Miami Herald. Yeah, this, the is from, I, I, this is October 14th. Want me to read the whole thing? I'll read it. Dude, read headlines it? don't mean jack shit. They wrote, they wrote a headline about me calling me a trad wife. I'm not married. So just because they But you thought it, you thought you was a trad wife till they found out about you, though. Nobody, I, I've never once said I was a trad wife. I've never you okay. So that, then why well, did you dress why did you dress like June Cleaver then? I'm allowed to wear an apron. I had a bikini on, so I didn't want to have a bikini in the video. So I put my apron on. And to be honest, a little bit of uh girl, you know, trickery here. I put the, the apron on because it made me look more thin. So I had to really You was up there, listen, you was up there in your full June cleaver. You was opening it up, pouring it out. Yeah, I'm just cooking, and then these broke ass niggas, my friends is with. You know, y'all think we want these gold diggers and stuff like that. So you gave the perception. I think you would have ran with it if they didn't know that you was just a single mom. I think you would have ran with it. Why would I do that? This is the internet where everything is doxxed, everything is public. Why would I do that? That's retorted. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like think having my dirty laundry aired. I'm honest about it. When everybody, everybody was coming for me, oh, she did shrooms. I'm like, yeah, yeah, losers. I did a tiny thing. Of you shrooms. did what? Shrooms. 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 Uh, I think all white people get high, so I mean, they ain't. 
Who's who's mad at white people getting high? I don't I don't understand that one. Because he's on the on the right, who've never had a life. That's well, I don't think we should. Now, me personally, I don't think we should get high. Now, now whatever you're drinking, whatever, to, you're drinking though. Yeah, yeah, that's lawful though. Drinking is lawful. Well, it's lawful, but I'm saying it's alcohol is the worst drug there is, really, right? It's lawful too. That's cap. No, it's true. That's cap. That's cap. No. Ain't nothing worse than crack. See, you well, might not okay. with, I mean, you, you know. might you might not have been with Three Six Mafia. <laughs> like they sip the syrup, ain't nothing worse than that. I've sipped syrup, syrup personally. <laughs> Sir. You said you sip the syrup? You, yeah. yeah, you sip the syrup too. With bro? the Sprite and the Jolly Ranchers and all that shit. Yeah, promethazine. Yeah. And you telling me that alcohol is worse than that? Uh long term. Alcohol yeah. actually can bring on dementia. Like early stage dementia. A lot of alcohol abuse. Anything that you over I, abuse is the most important part anything that you od on can be abusive if you eat too much chocolate if you eat too much food you get fat i mean so anything can be abusive but just to have an occasional drink that's not a bad thing i actually drink on purpose on lives because people complain about it sometimes <laughs> it's not even real alcohol it's just tea see that's where i don't fall into a very conservative mode because i don't really care i'm like legalize weed legalize all this do whatever you want just don't just don't mess with kids don't hurt anybody it's, if you want to fuck over your own life go for it mm. so what is your ultimate goal like do you want to be like candace owens type of conservative is that like where your end game is at i i don't really have an end game i'm just kind of winging it i've been i'm been doing the same content i've always done so i Which don't is? i should do a have an, an end goal but i don't right now yeah, one of the contents you you wanted to change the conservative which is what you were saying earlier in regard in regards to um I think you you called married women fags. Am, am I correct? No. Or you you were mad at married women because you said they don't have children. But y'all. Oh yeah, do. I was I was mad at people because I'm like y'all are getting married. And mm -hmm. oh yeah, I guess technically I did call them fags. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm, Teach you to send five dollars. Like, this conversation is epic. And she might she might be she might be you know she might listen for all my listening audience. She's an honest white woman, so just remember, this is just how white women are. But go ahead, go ahead, you can finish. I was just saying, if you're getting married, you might as well have kids because we've got a declining birth rate, and we need more. Like we need more kids. People should be having kids, especially the married ones. Like us girls getting knocked up, we we are working overtime here, helping the birth rate issue. So the married women have to help. So now let me ask you a question on on that subject. Um, so you encourage, in your logic children out of wedlock now no. just for the just oh. so you can so you can understand my lens yeah. in my lens sex is marriage so if you're married if you have sex with a man you're married to that man if you have sex with a woman you're married to that woman of oh, same se oh, excuse me opposite sex like a man to a woman once you have any course you're married that's why i said from your lens so are you encouraging single mothers no. are you saying was, single no, mothers are okay yeah. Obviously not. Being a single mom, I would be the first one to say, don't do this. It was just a facetious way of saying, getting a point across and like kind of giving the middle finger to the people who were giving me shit. And you what were they giving me? What were they giving you shit about? Oh, for being a mom. Obviously. Oh, okay. Okay. And so, you're not with the guy anymore? The guy that they think is black? No. Or you said he's white? Okay. Yeah. I, for oh. the record, can I just clear this up? I do yeah, not have clearly. a black child and I have never had sex with a person of color before. So. I've created a couple mean, of single moms myself, Captain. I don't know if you know that or not, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Yo. <laughs> when you say person of color, what who, what colors do that eliminate? Uh, Mexican, like uh huh, and black people. Uh -huh. I mean, I've just had sex with white people. With white people. Okay, so Jewish people, Jewish people are white people too. Now wait, let uh, me ask. Okay, you now there was a super chat. Okay, so that you got no people. Jews, as far as I, as far as to my knowledge. Yeah, you, you got <laughs> you got people worked up earlier, and Frosty Toad okay. said Jews are subjugating whites. How are they the same? If you cannot give an example where a Jew gets in trouble for saying something about whites, you're just blowing shit out your ass, is what he said. Okay, you want me to respond to that? Yeah. So just because y'all have white on white crime does not mean that y'all are not the same people. White people subjugate white people just like they subjugate other races of people. Just go through the history. Look at the history of the Crusades. Look at the history of World War I, World War II. It's not like whites never oppressed white people. The Russians and the Ukraines are white people. And there were, you got the Russians 
oppressing the Ukraines or how the Ukraines feel like the Russians are oppressing them. So just because a nation, a white nation is oppressing another white nation does not mean that they're not the same people. Like I said, the father of criminality is white people. But the so-called Jews, as you, as you've put it uh, here right. on the show Facts. before, uh, um, I mean, they're genetically, if you do a DNA test, uh, they're genetically yeah. different uh, from a European white person, right? Oh, I was wondering that. What exactly? I always assumed Jewish was just like a religion, like like Islam. Well, right. it's a religion, um, but it's an ethnicity as well. Uh, oh. No, Jewish is not an ethnicity. Jewish, like you said, uh, well, uh, she's is. more right. Yeah, no, she's more right. The reason why I say Jewish I mean, is a... I mean, there's uh, a Jewish religion, and then there's the Jewish ethnicity. Uh, so there's Judaism. Where does the ethnicity come from? Is it just people born in, like, Israel? No. They're mainly from Europe, actually. Um, that's how you know that's a religion, because the ones from Europe are not Jews. That's why they use the term Jewish. So Jewish people are Jewish by your mother, that's whereas right. that's if you go by the Bible, you're a Jew or Israelite by your father. So even their religion or practice is opposite of what they call a Torah or Tanakh. And a lot of them, like Ralph said, come from Russia, Germany, Poland. Yes. That's their origins. Their origins is not the middle east then so how does, write, that, does people take like dna tests to see if they're like jewish or whatever and something yes. like that hawk to a girl she came up with like 97 percent uh some Ashkenazi, kind of Ashkenazi. Ashkenazi. you know that hot to a girl probably does not know how to do her job if she has to hot to her. i just want to say that <laughs> but <laughs> My like, friend, I don't know why. That's supposed to come up naturally. People, yeah. If it's going down deep enough, much. this bit's already coming out. Yeah. Anyway, we won't get into that. I don't, yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, Listen, I, don't, I, I don't know why people were so excited about hot tour. Like, if she got a hot tour, she don't know what she's doing. Yeah, but, yeah, I understand um, that logic, guys. With the D with the DNA test part, it's it's weird. So I I used to watch DNA because in in the world that I come from, black people trying to identify themselves. So everybody's going to like twenty three and Me, Ancestry, and stuff like that. But when you actually do the research for DNA. It's not accurate for your ancestors. On like if you have a child, so re -re like is say whites you and, like and, your, and your child's father, if you wanted to find out Why if he was a child, to if you so took the test, it's 99.9% accurate, accurate because that's live data. He's alive, you're alive. Even if one of you had passed away, you can go get the bones and get the DNA off of it. There's only so far you can go back. So when I used to watch, I saw an episode where they took three German triplets. It was three of them. Um, they had the same mother, same father. They were white. And when they took their DNA test, it was uh, the same in the beginning. But when it started going further back, they were different. They went to a whole different line from each other because really after a certain generation, it's just a guess. So okay. it's, yeah, so it's just not accurate like a uh, birth or like murder. Like if somebody murders somebody, they take a swab and they want to get your, their DNA evidence. If they have the live data, then they can match it. But if they don't have the live data, then they can't match it. So I would never trust DNA. Now let me let, let me read this super chat. It says, so is this guy calling whites racist like it's a bad thing, but said he's a proud racist? Why bother talking to someone? He says you're brain dead. I've never I'm not saying that. No, I that. told everybody. Normally when I come on, He said on his Ralph's racism show, is different. He talked about it earlier, but yeah, but go ahead. No, not so much that I mean, even if, let's say if you made my racism the same. The point of having a conversation with Lily is that Lily is the first white racist woman that I can have a conversation with. Now, she's going to say she's not racist. She was just saying broke ass nigga slang, but we can all read between the lines here. But I wanted to have the conversation because I've never had a conversation with a female, a white female on this type of subject. But if y'all know my history on Killstream, I've been on here. What has been like four years now, Ralph? Maybe four uh, years? Yeah, about, about four yeah. years. So I've debated yeah. Jewish people on here. I've debated white people on here. I've debated. All type of people on here. So, Wait, are you a Jew? Black the Hebrew? real one. Yeah. What that? Yeah. What the black Hebrew was right? Okay, so no, no problem. And so normally we don't really like the term black Hebrew Israelite because Jewish people made that as a racist term. But black, so what we teach is according to the Bible. I ain't got my shirt over there. According to the Bible, um, Jesus Christ was black, Moses was black, all of them would be what you would today call black. Now they would just be called Jews in the Bible. They don't call them black in the bible but according to the bible that's who we are today the white man that says he's a jew is an imposter that's why we call him a so-called jew he comes from russia poland and he just made himself be a jew just like they made jesus christ be white when you go into the bible jesus christ got woolly hair skin of bronze and a beard how could that be a white man it cannot so we teach the truth of the bible so according to the bible like the greatest imposters are y'all 
That's you ever heard of the Renaissance era? Mm -hmm. So the Renaissance era is when they took the ancient artwork of Jesus, Moses, Peter, and all of them, and then just whitewashed them and made them be white. And they just said, hey, Jesus is white, man. Jesus is white. But biblically, he's not. So that's what we teach. Okay, thanks for that definition. Oh, no problem. Anytime, anytime. You said we got about an hour, right, Ro? Yeah, I said, I said about an hour, you know, or a little you know, bit over. If we got a little bit over, I think You thought fine. you were going to start grilling me. Where's the grilling coming on? I think I grilled you enough. So I wanted what, what I wanted to get was just to sh for my audience purposes anyway, um, to show your true spirit, meaning like you make it seem like, so I'm going to ask you again, do your girlfriends and your brothers and your family or just you walk around saying broke ass niggas? Everybody says nigga. But you I said your honestly, you said your brother, how old are you? How old are you? You don't 49, have to 49. 49. That's the problem. If you knew people my age, 25 to 18 to 25 year olds, everybody's saying that because it's in the music, it's in the culture. The whole culture is hip hop culture. And that's where people pick these terms up from. I picked it up from hearing other people pick it up. So I think it's more of a okay. generation gap. No, no, it's not a I didn't ask you that question from a generational position. I asked that question because when I asked you earlier, you didn't say it. And so what I wanted to gauge was, and what I'm, I'm I, as I told you up front, is to show your racism. So that was the first question I asked. The second question, when you said broke ass niggas, you want, excuse me, my audience to believe that you said that on a live stream to not get attention, correct? Uh I was, I was, well, I really wasn't even thinking into this. You're, it's all these analysis. Just, I sit back and watch these YouTubers make analyses of the video, and it's funny because I wasn't putting that much thought to it. The believe it or not, the point of the video was about not all girls are gold diggers, and I happened to be talk. I, I was using an example. Well, the friends I know who were married, they're not married to rich dudes. They're married to poor dudes. So that was my circumstantial evidence that I was using. Right. I happened to just use that word. But right. you know, people want to make people want a villain, and they want to, they want somebody who seems racist. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually not racist enough. Um, the <laughs> alt right can't stand me because I, apparently I'm not racist enough. So I mean, I'm getting it from all sides. You're saying I'm racist. They're saying I'm not racist enough. I'm just. I'm, I'm saying you. I'm saying you're <laughs> denying. I'm saying what I'm saying is you expect us to believe that when you said that that you didn't that it wasn't intentional that you didn't know where it was coming from even when you did an interview with tommy sotomayor you made a point to say broke ass niggas are like the normal working man the normal blue collar worker yeah i don't right i don't think blue collar workers would be comfortable being called a broke ass nigga, even though that's the way that you it's a joke it. it's I'm a not, joke can you well, read past the it's not everything's not so literal it's just a joke it's a term people don't think into it I wasn't well, thinking that deep into it. You're right when you say people don't think into it and that it's a joke. And I'm not saying whether you meant it that way or not, but it's naive for you to think that we didn't know that you were saying it on purpose. Even when you got I mad at the thing and on purpose, it just happened to slip out because that's how I talk. Right. And has it ever slipped out before that day? Yeah. On a live? On, not on a live because I didn't make I don't make a whole bunch of videos or then it's I funny. wasn't. Uh, right and and then you wasn't but then after that you began to right well because that was my thing then i was like everybody's wanting to pillory me your, for your saying fuck I, so i'm fucking doubling down nigga 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 right so now <laughs> but when you think about it so that that's what i'm saying when you want us to be naive to think that that wasn't your agenda so you didn't say it before then you say it you get the attention you was looking for you tell black people you were puppets now i get to start my career and then now that's all you say and then you expect us to believe that that wasn't intentional. Like, it's, it's better to just be honest. Like, listen, man, I wanted to get out in this media world. I wanted to be important. I wanted to have a little bit of fame. It's more like, when, that's, that's why I love Ralph. Ralph don't, listen, I was watching you and Ralph's interview. I heard Ralph say nigga for the first time in my life. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph is respectable when I'm on the live. Like, when I'm on the live with him, he's respectable. But I heard Ralph just niggering it up. Semester 33 cent one dollars on Rumble. Captain, I'm from hey, I I'm from Memphis, the word 50 Captain. Like breakfast. I said, uh, and, and, listen, I'm not saying it did not. I don't say like, it when you're here, just out of respect. Right. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Like Ralph, Ralph gives great respect when I'm here. 
But, but at least he's honest. You know, I you're say it when you're not here. Yeah, but, and if I'm, I'm singing a song or something. I, you don't might know my intention. It's the same amount of evidence as people saying I have a black child when there's pictures of my child who's clearly white. It's using that same amount of weak evidence. You want me to be racist so badly. There are plenty. There are some racists out there. Go after them. But that video was not intentionally... Uh, I wasn't meant to get a rise out of anybody. In fact, the video had been posted for about a week before it even anybody even got mad about it because nobody saw anything. It was just slipped off the tongue. That's how I talked. And then when it blew up, what do I have to do? I had two options ahead of me. I'm at the crossroads when everybody's coming after me, when my address has been, Rick you know, Harrison, docks, when I have people, black people, by the way. You'd be who, squirting? And if you, if, Were you on the cream How team? about giving me some credit? What color the inside? I've had tons of black Your... people trying to kill me. I've had black people send me screenshots of the Google Maps headed to my house saying I'm 15 minutes away from your house. I'll be there with my boys, with all our AR kit, whatever kind of fucking guns they were talking about. I could be racist if I wanted to, but I'm actually not. So anyway, I'm at the crossroads when I have all this blowing up. I'm, I lost 10 pounds. It's really fucking stressful. I'm staying up all night. I've got a police presence at my house. I keep carrying a fucking gun with me 24 seven and I'm at the crossroads. Do I forge on through? Do I not apologize? Do I actually stand on my, on my beliefs of, I believe in the freedom of speech. I believe in the right to be able to say something. And I think it's fucking stupid and pathetic and weak to get offended by one word. Or do I delete all my socials, go underground, be a fucking pussy, and, and just try to hope it blows over? No, I'm not doing that. I, I'm going to double down. I'm going to go on forward. And and at the moment, I was mad. So I was like, you know what? Fuck these people. I'm going to piss them off. And then remember, you also said uh, you brought out little Uzi Vert when you said, um, yeah, y'all mad at me. Y'all mad at me. Y'all mad at me, but not this nigga. <laughs> I, thought, <laughs> I thought it was funny, personally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uzi Vert, Uzi Vert got, got the pocketbook and all that. I think he had he dressing like a woman. I think he <laughs> he's a homosexual for all intents and purposes. So that's what I mean. I don't, well, before I get to that part, because I think you're missing what I'm saying. It, even if you take the racism out of it, for all intents and purposes, it looks like you did it for I've the attention. That's what I wasn't talking about the racism part yet. Before. I was saying you. it would be naive for you to think that we believe that you didn't say that on purpose so that you can pick up your game. You said you start doing more videos. For example, let's say if you didn't want to do nothing else with it, right? You could have made your video not apologizing, right? Because you made that video saying after doing the research, Harrison, I could care less or whatever. You could have made that video and then went right back to doing what you was already doing. But instead, but meaning what I mean by already doing, you could have put that June Cleaver outfit back on or you said you had to cover up your bathing suit. We don't believe that either. You could have put your June Cleaver outfit back on. You could have went to your cooking. You could have did everything you normally did. And then that would have had the same power as you coming out and then going into different spaces. You chose this route because for all intents and purposes, it looks like that's the route that you wanted to go. If, it, if I'm me, like if anybody know you don't know me, but if anybody knows me, I'm Captain Tazaryak all the time, no matter what anybody says or does. I do what I want to do. I don't change my line. I don't say, well, they're talking about me. Let me go on these lives. Let me go and do this. Let me go and do that. I don't do that. Now, when I go out and do it because I do do lives, it's because I want to. It's not because somebody put me in a position where I have to, where you're sounding like you had to do it because if you didn't, you would have been looked at as a pussy. Am I correct? No, I'm not going to have anyone tell me what to do. I'm not going to have anyone dictate my speech. I don't live in a communist country. I believe in this First Amendment. And I'm not going to have somebody tell me, don't say that. And so my, my, I'm a rebel. My natural inclination is if you want to tell me not to say that, I'm going to say it even more. Don't you fucking tell me what to say. And oh, you yeah. think that's about attention, but it, was, it wasn't. You, all, all you guys did was fire up a rebellious spirit. You fired you don't up say you guys because I didn't say nothing. Well, I made a video a about it. A spirit in a lot of different people, which is why there was all the traction, which is why pe it caught on attention because people were glad to see somebody actually say something, stand on their business, and double down on it instead of apologizing. But I think you right now you're getting more flack from white people than black right now, right? Uh yeah, they all think I'm a Jew. Yeah, white yeah white people turning on you. You know that's bad when white people turn on you. So you can't even blame black. They want, you to, they want you to be in a box. 
And if you're not in their club or you say I'm all, all out here for the attention or whatever, if I wanted the attention, I would have, I would have gone with a club and I would have fucking stuck with it. I would have gone off to AFPAC and I would have stuck with the AFPAC team, but no, I saw things that I didn't like up there. Well, and I called it out. Freelance. No, you want to freelance. Ain't nothing wrong with freelancing. So you could do your world tours. So you could do Killstream, Candace Owens, whatever other shows. I haven't you seen realize, any. You realize there's more attention when you actually pick a niche and stick to it rather than just being your own little thing. All the Daily Wire people get really successful and famous because they have a club. They stick with the club. They never step out of line. Same with the AFPAC, the America First movement. If you're a groiper, you stick, you, you parrot all the groiper. You, you know, know what a free agent part. does? You know what a free agent does? A free agent explores and see which lane actually suits them. So that AFPAC, I think you name, you can go look at that and say, no, nah, I don't really want to work with them. The Daily Wire you name, I look at that, I don't really want to work with them. So you really, you just fishing to see where you want to land at, which goes back to the original premise that you said that for this. No, I didn't. The more you, the I more you talk. Whenever yeah. I got all the backlash, that's when I was like, oh shit. And now I'm at the crossroads. I wasn't planning on the, all this thing. And everybody, I mean, I've even seen videos where they're like, oh, well, she was specifically doing the hot spot sauce in the garlic powder. That was a, that was a subtle racist thing. Against <laughs> it was hot spot. You yeah. Hot sauce in there. Getting so far into this shit. It's unbelievable. You had hot sauce in there. You said hot sauce. Yeah. I was marinating know. chicken wings. Are you saying you was, you was pulling a Kamala Harris with the hot sauce and Hillary Clinton <laughs> with the hot sauce. <laughs> That's what they were saying. <laughs> All these people. She's from the today. South, Captain. Look, it's hot retarded. sauce. I like hot sauce myself, right? Like, uh, yeah. Why is hot sauce? First of all, why is hot sauce a black thing? I thought, every, yeah, I must say, even make hot sauce. I, like, I, who don't use? KC, you you would say y'all make the best barbecue, right? I think that's what well, you're telling me. Well, I'm not. Right, from, I'm from Memphis, even though Kansas oh, Memphis, City's right. my you team. Say Memphis, Memphis has, the best. has the world's best barbecue. Right. Uh, now, y'all use hot sauce? Y'all use hot sauce? There is a barbecue with hot sauce. Yeah, why do but they? I, like I prefer hot it with the barbecue. It's a black sauce. thing. Like I like Kamala, who's not black. That's a white and East Indian woman. She pulled the hot sauce out. Hillary pulled the hot sauce out, and now Lily pulled the hot sauce out. That's a joke, uh, Lily. I know you're gonna say you didn't do it on purpose. It just fit. It was like the trifecta. Like all of you white people, because and all y'all white, ain't that something? I like white. I mean, I yeah. like hot yeah. sauce. But let me ask you this though, Captain. Like I said, <clears throat> you know, I don't say the word to uh, to you or while you're here, just out of res respect, and we have a good relationship, right? Uh, and mm -hmm. you know, you seem like you probably wouldn't like that if I started saying that. Um, wait, wait, so can you back up a little bit, Ralph? Can you back and say that again? I was reading something. I, I, I said we have a good relationship. You know, I'm not saying it Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Uh, Lily, she doesn't give a fuck. Uh, uh, but you know, you're a guest on my show. I'm the host. I'm trying to be, uh, host, host like, right. You know, uh, and be, right. be polite right. and you know, that's how I am. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, if, if you, if you left here, uh, and a, somebody sent in a song and it had that word in it, you know, and I know the song I'm going to I'm going to sing the song with the word, right? Like, or if right. it's a friend of mine, like I grew up with black people, uh, plenty of mm -hmm. them. Like I said, Memphis is 70% uh, black, basically. Uh, West Memphis, about 60% black. Uh, you know, I have plenty of black friends. Uh, some of them may be cool with it. Some of them might not be cool with it, right? Right. Uh, and, you know, uh, amongst white people, we would say it to each other, too, though. Right. Um, so maybe, uh, you know, most black people w wouldn't care. But if there was a black friend of mine who didn't like that or whatever, you know, I wouldn't say mm -hmm. it. Um, but white people would say that word referring to each other uh, where I came from. Right. Uh, we would right. call each other uh, the N word, basically, or the soft A, uh, I would say, mm -hmm. not the hard R. Uh, but we would use that word all the time talking to each other. Right. Where I, where I grew up. All right. So we would call each other that word. Uh, really because of hip hop culture, like she said earlier, uh, right. Um, uh, you know, I grew up listening to the three, six mafia, uh, and Tupac and Biggie word, and, you know, Jay-Z and all this, you know, that's, I was a huge rap fan. Still am. Right. Kendrick, Absolutely. Kendrick Drake. I follow that feud, uh, very closely. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was a fire battle, but it was fire. K dot got him now, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, definitely. Oh, dude, definitely broke him. Uh, yeah, but definitely. anyway, uh, I'm just saying it's like it's it, it it is part of the culture though, right? Isn't it? I mean, you know, if you know well, somebody the state of the word nigga, yeah. I'm I'm not denying I don't think nobody's denying that. Like I heard you that's why I just made a point to say when I saw you and Lily uh doing your live, I heard yeah, you. Yeah, you heard it. me say I'm it. Not, yeah, yeah. I will say yeah, it. I'm not but bothered. I don't, you know, I'm being Yeah, that though, even when when your other guests on the show and we're on the show and they remember I called that other white guy 
Remember, what was that? Uh, Joel. What was Joel the Australian guy? Jo yeah, Joel yeah I called him my nigga Joel. That's what I called him. And yeah. he's white. Yes. So I get it. But the conversation with Lily is Lily don't want to be honest. Lily don't want to be upfront. And Lily gets to be on my platform so that people can see that this is what white women do. White, like you can't profile white men and white women. You can't profile them. You have to actually see them and visualize them. So Lily is a perfect visualization of what we get to see white women do when they and hide their hand. So that's the point of this conversation. I don't care about the word nigga like that. Okay, like I get caught play it out this way. So if I actually wanted attention, you know what I would have done? I would have made sure to have my boobs out. I would have gotten lip injections. I would have gone the OnlyFans route. I'd be p posting selfies nonstop, twenty four seven, because that's where the actual traction is. You want to, you want to get famous as a girl. That's how you get famous as a girl. I didn't go that route. Okay, so, so to say the whole thing was just to get fame. Believe me, I would never have wanted all this to happen. I'm in a very vulnerable spot now. I can't get hired anywhere thanks to the black community freaking out about a word because they're fucking pussies. Um. And and you think you think this is the route I would want? You yeah, really you, listen. This, this well, you want to be. Want? A, uh, this has been very profitable, by the way. Wow, I make made twenty five dollars the other day. That's cap. Holy. You, uh, you want to be an alternative conservative, so you can't get the OnlyFans yet. But you just started. Let's check up on Lily Gaddis in like a year or so, when she like she said she can't get the job, and the times get hard, and she got that baby as a single mom. Never know. Only fans might not be a bad option. But what is she supposed but, to do right, though now, other than you know be an online personality? Uh, you know it's hard. That's what I'm she's going. That's what she's now. going to be. I'm not. I'm not. I didn't say don't be an online personality. I'm just saying own it. But I'm not saying don't do that. I'm an online personality now. But you're saying initially that was the whole entire point. It that was, was. Not the whole entire point of this okay. whole thing. It blew up. It went for a week with nobody freaking out, and I was like. Didn't think anything more of it. I right. would have never wanted this to have happened. But now that it's happening, I'm leaning into it because that's the only option I've got. But to think, first of all, you go ahead. You're going to, uh, honestly, at this point, you're going to believe whatever the fuck you want. But uh, that yeah. was not the that's intention. Right. And so, you know, believe it or whatever, because it's, it's like arguing with the people who call me a Jew. I can only say I'm not a Jew so many times. You know, it's, it's not going right. to change people's minds. So. In your opinion, I did it all for attention. Yes, this is such a good grift. I'm so glad I did that. Thank God I said broke ass niggas because wow, this has really launched me in such a great route. Now let me <laughs> even when you say black people got mad because you said the word nigga, black people is not the only race of people that get mad when you say a word that's derogatory to them. Because like you say, Ralph grew up around black people that he said he could say nigga. You grow up around people that y'all say nigga. Certain generations grow up around. I, I don't know really of any communities where if the white guy grew up with them, he was allowed to say nigga. But that's the minority. That's not the majority. And so when something like that gets out in the public and then you then people say something about it, there's an expectation that comes with it. Like when I say so-called Jew, when I said the K word early, the K or word earlier, I know what comes with saying that word. Even though I'm comfortable saying it, I don't have an issue saying it, I know what comes with that word. And maybe you didn't rationalize because you're only 25 what comes with that word. But I don't believe that either. It's hard for me to believe. I don't I like that. I don't like the fact that we have words that we can and cannot say. Why do I have to be like, oh, my life is entirely dependent on saying a word? Really? A word has that much power? No, no, no. I want to break. Feminists talk about breaking the glass ceiling. You know what I want to break is the word glass ceiling, where you can't have your life destroyed because you say a word, because that's wrong, believe it or not. It's well, wrong. All you have to worry about is words. Black people worry about different things. We worry about oppression. We worry about a president that wants to get elected to give, to bring back stop and frisk. Like, you're just worried about a word. A black man, a black man or a black, the black community's this. life, it, you say what? What's so wrong with black stop and frisk? If they happen to catch more black people with guns, it's not the racist cops' fault. That's not, that's, black people are carrying illegal guns. No, actually, when you look up the numbers of stop and frisk, uh, most of the stop and frisk did not result in an arrest. That's not the issue with stop and frisk. Okay, well, then what's the issue? Your... The issue with stop and frisk, first of all, it was deemed unconstitutional by your government because it was specifically only targeted to blacks and Hispanics. It wasn't, so in New York City is where stop and frisk. And yes. to be specific, stop and frisk existed since the 70s in New York, New York State only. So in the 70s is when stop and frisk started. 
it only became unconstitutional, I think, in 2013, because from around 2003 to 2008 is when they started specifically targeting blacks and Hispanics. Now, I'm not saying that they wasn't specifically targeting before then, but that's when it was an uprising of it. So it was only because of the racist antics of the stop and frisk that it became a problem. So do you think because black people are disproportionately represented in the crime statistics, do you think that's because every cop that is arrested them, they're racist, or maybe black people have a problem with crime? Well, white people commit more crimes than black people. White people are more criminals than black people. <laughs> By number. Yeah, and there's more, up. but per capita, there's yeah, more white capita, people yeah. than no, black people. No, let me, let me, so let me help you out. Per capita, you guys don't seem to understand that. But if you actually do well, the you, numbers, black mm -hmm. people are committing way more crimes per capita based on how few black, what is it, 14% of the population versus white people are a huge percentage probably, of the population. What, what you should do, when you look up the FBI statistics or the American statistics on crime, those crimes are not convictions. All of those crimes are arrests. You guys get arrested more than us, so then you want the per capita argument. The most released people for crimes they did not commit per capita and percentages are black people because we are the most falsely arrested and falsely convicted ethnicity in America. So that leads to why stop and frisk is wrong. So when you look at the statistics and it's showing more white people are committing crimes and then you bring up the per capita, you would technically be right based on the percentages because we're only like 12% of the population, y'all are a larger percent. But then when you take them same numbers and then go look at who's getting found not guilty of crimes that they were convicted of, it's us because we get falsely arrested, we get falsely convicted. So there is this notion that we're supposed to be the criminals, but white people are the criminals. Just look up the numbers, there's nobody more. Y'all are so criminal, y'all can storm the gate on January 6th and that's applauded. Nigga, y'all can go shit, y'all can, go shit. can go shit, y'all can go shit in Pelosi's office. Y'all shit in the White House. Why yeah, can't the only people to say we shit they, in they the office? They arrested a lot of those people, to be fair, Captain. That's true. And they threw all those Rick guys Harrison, under the fucking prison Rumble. for years. Really? Joe Biggs is going to be under the uh, Enrique Tarrio, who, by the way, is not even a white person, is sentenced to, what, 20 years in prison? He wasn't even at right. Jan 6. Because he's a criminal. How was he a criminal? He wasn't even at J6. He was at a hotel room. That means he organized it, orchestrated it. He was a part of it. Okay. There's so nobody the more boys, criminal than the white Proud people. Boys here. So they what? have four whole All right, it, it's gonna go, go, here go Lily. Here go they Lily. Go Lily Clan Gaddis. They were going to go to um, Lily Clan Gaddis. Did you say Lily Clan Gaddis? Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. You know what? I'm going to wear that proudly at this point. You're actually. Thank you. There we go. Arrested. Give her a hand, y'all. Y'all give her a hand. Give her a hand. I told y'all I would pull it out of her. I told y'all. Yeah, exactly. You create racism where there wasn't any racism. I created. I just told the truth. Whatever. Anyway, the Proud Boys had a plan. We're going to go to Jan 6, and then we're going to go to a concert afterwards. Does that sound like somebody who's planning to take over to the, the Capitol? Where were the maps? Where were the blueprints? Where were all the guns? You really think a little ragtag group of a few people were planning to take over the strongest country in the world and then have plans to go to a concert and a barbecue afterwards? That's hey, retarded. When, hey, when, Ted, when Ted Bundy was on his serial killing spree after he killed them white women, he rode through the city with the white women. That's how y'all think. That that's how white people think. What? White, so that's think why I said you cannot pro you plan. cannot profile you cannot profile white killers, white criminals because they look like you. They look like the average white guy, average white woman walking down the street. You look just it, like that. It was a whole plan. They it was an insurrection. They were planning on taking over the United States government. No, well, they definitely made a statement, did they not? Yeah, what, it's what, called locker so they, room. So they talk. went to the like, White House. They went to the White House pussy. to take a shit. It doesn't actually they, mean go out and grab women by the pussy. It's called locker room talk. But you don't seem to get jokes. You don't seem to get things that are said in a joking for both. President way. can't say. But well, did he say why he was the president, or did he? Say no, it? it was before he was president. Uh, yeah, that, I mean, I don't, I don't care. When you're, about an, when you're an East celeb, they let you do it, Captain. That's what. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah. care about them saying grab him by the pussy. What they got to do with white people being criminals? My point, no, we're talking about locker room talk. You're saying, oh, well, they were saying they were going to take it over. Yeah, saying, oh, man, we're going to get them. They tried to do it. They went to the White. Did they have weapons? They went to the White House and took it over.
Okay, where's the maps? Where's the consorted effort? These people aren't so I'm not a damn lawyer. I ain't no lawyer. I don't need no damn okay, maps. Well, I saw with my own. On taking over the Capitol. That's a major, major accusation to say. Without well, any wait, 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 wait. Did we not see the same video on January 6th? Did we not see them storm the castle? Did we not see them go through the whole White House trying to find and information? Not the White House, the Capitol. The Capitol, the Capitol. I can't remember exactly what the thing was, but there was a bunch of black people that took over the Capitol at one time, and I don't see them all getting thrown they, under the they, you Show me where they went inside the White House. Show me show they me where not the black the, people. Nobody went inside the White House. It was the, cap, it was the Capitol. Yeah, yeah, show, the Capitol show me what... You won't go inside the White House. Yeah, show me away. what black people did uh, to the White House. Show me that. The Capitol. The Capitol. The Capitol. <laughs> the Capitol. Do you think the Jan 6 guys got off easy for that? getting thrown under the bus for 20 years for meandering for trespassing for one person breaking no, away no, what I'm, here's what i'm saying there ain't a greater criminal than white people that's what i'm saying if historically in america from the time y'all touch soil up to 2024 y'all are the criminals and the problem with black people is when we try to be american we become criminals America was established by doing whatever it is you got to do to get the land. If you rape them, you kill them, you do whatever you got to do to take the land. And so now black people, we're part of that dynamic because we was taken over here in that concept. So now we want to look up to them. So y'all look up to the uh, the gangsters of the day, the Lucky Lucianos and stuff like that. That was uh, when alcohol, alcohol was illegal. Y'all look at them, they get glorified. So what do black people, when they want to get American, they glorify that. We glorify everything American. Because when we tried to do it our way and not be criminals, y'all killed us even more. So, that so ain't what's the end goal here? Like, like it sounds like you want to make white people and black people hate each other. I got news. No, for you. I don't. No, 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 no. no, no. If you guys are forty percent of the population and you want whites and blacks to hate each other, y'all niggas are gonna lose. Okay. Right. So you don't want to start a race war. Right. I'm all about. I mean, before prior to this conversation, I was all about you know black people and white people are all Americans. But now you're starting <laughs> to convince me the other way. <laughs> Let me tell you something. She was already like this prior to, and no. It's not about whether we want to start a race war because here's the thing: we we have all lose. We have always been in a war. When have we ever had peace with y'all? They like people be saying like black black and white people heading for a race war. What what have we been in since we've been in America but a race war? What do you consider a war? Do you consider we, me saying nigga? Do you think that's equivalent to me getting one of these guns and shooting you? No, because that ain't gangster enough. Okay, well then, I, how I, are we at war then? Are our white people you out said of this? What, you said black? what do I what do I consider? Get him! I'm gonna really tell you what I consider. What are doing? So I'll Rick tell you Harrison, what I consider. Sixty nine cent one dollars. When so called Rumble. slavery was Jesse over, Lee Peterson versus and we the had would be a great tried to establish our own cities. Y'all burned them to the ground. That's a war. Then you had this guy Martin Luther King. Are you talking about Black Wall Street, which didn't happen by the way? That was a race riot that started. The National Guard had to come in and take care of it. Wait, 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 you said, first you said Black Wall Street didn't happen. That's I mean, racist. I mean, it didn't happen in the way it was portrayed, as if it was just whites coming in and killing blacks. It was a race riot. It was it based on violence. a white, it was based on a white woman's lie. How do you that's know? why I wanted you on the show. That's how, that's why, that's like why I wanted just you. Everybody assumes the black guy's innocent. Who's that's saying why I wanted you. Innocent? Maybe they did go out there and rape a little baby. Maybe they did go out and rape somebody. Who says they're innocent? That's why I wanted her on the show. So we can all see the lily white woman is just like the white man. She I'm said Black saying, Wall Street didn't like happen. Evidence. She, she said Black Wall. That sucks. Maybe he was guilty. Ever consider that's that? That's just like saying, that's just like when Emmett Till got killed only for that white woman to say she lied. Okay, well then fuck her. They should have strung her up. Now, there. now it's fucked. I wish they would have strung that white bitch up. I wish they would have. They should have. They shouldn't have let her die in old age. They should have hung her ass in old George age. Floyd. So what do you let me about George Floyd. Wait, wait before, before, before we get to George Floyd, <laughs> you Galactic said what is a race war? Captain, which number is a bigger? race war Three is when one race strategically attacks another. And that's all your race has done. Whether it's Cointel Pro, whether it's killing Martin Luther King, whether it's creating. The CIA killed Martin Luther King, okay? The CIA uh -huh? is the enemy of the people. The CIA Are they white? I don't white. know. I don't know. They're the fucking she said government. The CIA, she goal. said the CIA like it's a bunch of niggas working in the back like, yeah, we about to kill this nigga. The CIA is white folk. 
Okay. The drug epidemic is white. I'm but, but I'm black showing you. Need to get that we are all Americans. Black people need to understand we are all Americans, and our enemy you, is the government. You know what you should do, Lily? You should go out and teach white people that black people are Americans. You don't have to teach us. Let me tell you something about black people. And as I quote my general, there's nobody that loves America more than black people. Black people it's die like in the military. The like black don't, black people, all black people have oh, died God. in your war. Black people have joined your military, has died in your wars, has done every single thing that America has asked, and y'all have done nothing for black people. We oh, have so you benefited want reparations nothing. Now too? No. The reparations that I would want requires the lord to give i couldn't get the reparations well they did bring you to america rather than africa uh although it was not oh when you think about that wait, wait. <laughs> 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 i mean would you want wait, me to africa wait, wait. red fox, about, bro, red fox said that, i don't want to go back to africa i'm from i'm from east st louis that's where yeah, i'm from no, no i'm nah, not from africa no. i'm from because east st louis that's what red fox said Anyway. Us coming to Africa. Us coming to Africa. I don't want to go to Africa. That's we're not what I'm African, saying. No, you but, don't. Do you? you back. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not African. But the race war, there ain't. If somebody's waiting for a war and you're consistently getting attacked by the race that you're waiting for a war to come, it lets you know you're not even mentally prepared. And that is one thing that black people fail at. Black people fail at not knowing that we are mentally at war. Every race is about their people first every race. I don't have no trunk with that. The only trunk I have is that when somebody like myself is about my race first, that's why I said my race is a little different. Rick Harris we don't promote violence against no race of people, if the captain including could slavery from happening. We don't in the promote Americas. violence against he... whites, Chinese, Africans, Arabs. All we promote is for black people to have more loyalty to themselves than they do America. But right now, you got two factions. You got some people going to vote for Trump, some people are gonna vote for Kamala. The idea for Trump, I don't know what the idea for Trump is as a black as a black man anyway. I don't know what the idea for Trump is. But I know the idea for Kamala is that this is a black woman. It, that's that's the one thing Trump She's said. She's not really black of, though, is she though? Okay. That, no, Come I was gonna get into that. Don't yeah. worry, Ralph, I got you. Yeah. But that was the one thing Trump said when he was like, I always thought she was East Indian or Asian. And the next thing you know, she's black because she's not black. She She's ain't been black. $1 just, because, just because a person goes to a HBCU, knows rap music, doesn't make them black. She has a her father, her father's father is white. So for us, she's a white woman whose mother is East Indian. So they parade that around to us. I remember back when Obama was running for office, the whole thing was Obama was black Jesus. And he was going to do all these things. And all Obama did was help homosexuals get married. And so that's our issue. We as Israelites issue is that the end game for us should be us taking care of ourselves first and not worrying about what the American government, because even white people like yourself, you're mad at the government. Ralph is mad at the government. Killstream is mad at the government. Sure. So clearly, <laughs> if white people hate the government, why? We, that's the greatest lesson we should have. The one thing we can learn from white people is that the white people hate the government right now. And if they hate their own government, we for sure can't think we got something good within that government. So, well, then if all both collectively, if well, blacks and whites both hate the government, we can help the problem. Because you black people want to act like we're our own little ship out to sea. We're fine because we're just us blacks. We fuck America. Fuck those white people. Well, I got news for you. When America goes down, when America shit hits the fan in America, y'all are going to get hit first. You know why with this open border shit you know where the illegals come from first they go for your black hoods there's already so much fighting between the mexican gangs and black people in black hoods you guys are going to suffer first so you, all, you can say you don't want to be part of america all you want but when the ship goes down you're going down with and i got news for you you're going down first because they're taking the government they're taking this country down through the, all the illegal immigration going on and they're coming for black neighborhoods first we black. Let me tell you something. The black community can't get more destroyed than what it has been destroyed by America. And when you bring these tribes or these Hispanics or Mexicans, who most of them are my, all of them are my brothers, if they're ethnically that. If they're taught history, if we would learn the reverse of history to understand who the real enemy is, because even if they, when y'all allow these immigrants to come in, the whole goal is to get them to fight us to get us to have this animosity so we could forget who's really oppressing us. 
even historically, the, the, only, the whole, only reason that Ralph is in that section of Mexico that he's in is because the white man didn't want it. New Mexico is Mexico. Texas is Mexico. California is all of that. Is Actually, Mexico. there was a plan to add Yucatan to America at one yeah, point. Yeah, so uh, but they didn't go through. They're, they're oppressed. Like you're helping show how criminal of white people are because they're oppressed because y'all took that land from them too. And wondering why you got a police borders. You're policing borders from a people that at one time owned this land and now you took it by force and then you don't expect them to fight back. Like everybody, America wants. And they, you lost, can relate to they, this, lost, they lost a war. Yeah, I'm not saying that they didn't lose. The winner takes it all. You ever heard of I'm that? Not, I, I didn't say, I didn't say that they won. What I'm saying is y'all expect people that lost the war to be content with losing the war. I don't think any modern Mexican is wondering, damn, too bad we didn't, too bad we didn't win that war a long time ago. Nobody's thinking that. The same as no uh, black person should be worried about slavery that happened 200 years ago. You've never been a slave. I've never owned a slave. And I'm sick of getting thrown under the bus as if I have right. owned a slave when I never had you all benefit, the benefits of even having a slave. You benefit from the American constitution that you enjoy from your slave fathers from your slave grandfathers, whereas I benefit from oppression from my slave fathers and slave grandfathers. And it's it's always, we gotta be told to get over it, but let somebody harm y'all. Let somebody harm America. You will bomb the fuck out of innocent people. When them towers fell, they slaughtered millions of innocent Palestinians, Iranians, Afghanistans, in the name of people that had nothing to do with it. Why? So that y'all could feel better. Y'all never understand anyone's pain except for your own. So if you would want me to feelings. do They wanted a war. They instigated inside. 9-11 was an inside job, 100%, probably instigated by the Jews. They wanted a war <laughs> because they wanted to invade the uh -huh. Middle East because uh -huh. war is profitable. Right. It had nothing to do with, you know right. what? We, we think this will be a good fuck you to the blacks. No, mm -hmm. it was war. war Nobody's said, I think you missed. I think you're confusing what I'm saying. I'm showing you how y'all have a slogan called 9-11 never forget. That's the slogan for 9-11. But when it comes to black people, we talk about oppression because no, we don't have the whips on our back. We don't have physical chains. We don't have them around our neck, but we have never allowed, been allowed to be free in this place to build our nation ever. We have consistently been attacked. This is historical information. Whether you want to say the CIA, those are white people. And they have consistently done it. Now, Colin Tell Pro. Yeah, what you gonna say, bro? I'm just gonna ask you a question. First off, there's two questions. This one's kind of a question to fuck with you. The other okay. one's a serious question. This one, <laughs> Galactic says, Captain, which number is bigger? Three divided by four or five million divided by ten million? I think uh five million divided by ten is two. Three divided by four is gonna be like one point some 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 some. So I would go with the second. All right. Now, uh, this one is, if the captain could, could, could prevent slavery from happening in the Americas, would he? Would you have prevented slavery from happening? Yeah, I wish I could. Yeah, I would. Well, then That's... you can go back and tell your black ancestors that they shouldn't have sold you guys into slavery to begin with. Wow. Our black ancestors. Now, I'm glad you said that <laughs> because it wasn't our black ancestors that sold us into slavery. It was Africans that sold us into slavery, and we're not uh, African. Um, yeah, nigga, if black sold you, you were spoils of war. You were they so, sold slaves that they. This that is they when you say when you say you retarded. When you, the more you talk, the more I realize you actually are retarded, because historically, every dark skinned people is not the same people. East Indians have dark skin. They're not the same as Arabs. Arabs I'm not have talking dark about skin. you in specific. I'm not talking about you in particular. You talk about, about black people when they, we got taken out of Africa. You talk who about black people in the slave right. ships. They Thank you. And at Africa. the time, and at that time, East Indians, Arabs, Africans, and Israelites all existed on the same continent. Okay. Afri I don't know genealogy. All I know is they got a bunch well, of Well, that's why you're talking ignorantly uh, because you don't know that history. So because you don't know that. You think that a black man sold another black man, and that's not historical accuracy. You sold them. African. Them up? I'm I'm gonna explain it to you. Africans sold Israelites. When you get you an ancient map, when you take the time and you with your broke ass niggas, 
You go get you an ancient map of Africa, and in the west coast of Africa, where we was taken from, you'll see it will say land of Judah, because we are the Jews. So when we came into Africa, and the white man wanted Africans, excuse me, wanted slaves, the Africans fought with us and sold us. So we were sold by an enemy. We wasn't sold by our brother. So when you say my black ancestors did it, that's not historically accurate. I know Columbus, look, y'all, you probably think Columbus discovered that the earth wasn't flat. You probably think that that's not historical accuracy that's either. You probably think Columbus discovered America when there was people already here. American history is lies. Real history is African. The Arabs built the boats. The Africans caught the Israelites, sold us to the white man. And that's how we got over here. Okay. It's not so, about Africans. If you live in this oppressive society where everybody's out to get you, the government's out to get you, the other white people are out to get you, every aspect of society is just out to get the black man what are you gonna what's your solution to this oh my solution are has you been what, bitch about it or, or you can actually do something oh no, i'll tell you what so now if i was just on this uh application talking to you that would be bitching about it but i do more than that so we actually actively go out into the streets we go into our neighborhoods we go into the prisons we go everywhere our people are and give them their identity tell them to stop selling the white man's drugs stop being homosexual, stop aborting babies. We tell them all the things that they're doing wrong, correct it so that we can fix ourselves. And that's what we do in ISUBK under Commander Jenny Hunter. So I actively do this work that I'm talking about. So do so you want to put more of a divide between black people and white people? I don't, if, if we create, so think about it like this, if we create an, an element where we're not criminals, that can't create a divide. Because that's essentially what I'm saying. What I'm saying for black people to stop being criminal. No, you it, are admitting that you guys are doing the criminal acts. Because if you're saying they have to stop doing the criminal acts so there's not the divide anymore, right? You're that they're it. That they I never, I never said, I never said that black people were not criminals. I said y'all, they learned to be criminals from you. That's what I said. That's accountability. Okay, I had a really. That's not a whatever it's, it's like saying oh because my dad was fucked up i well i guess i'll just be fucked up too because my granddad was a rapist i guess i'll go out and start raping no no that's no yeah. that's actually everybody has their own uh -huh. personal accountability you make your own decisions and it shouldn't be influenced by anybody else that's stupid that's just an excuse for bad behavior but you just got influenced by people you just influenced yourself instead of you saying the broke ass niggas and then going about your day you got influenced by the people around that was attacking you it influenced you so much to be more active to get more followers to go on more lives so when you say it's stupid to be influenced by others you're stupid because what we are reacting is not an influence my life turned react, down. reacting you, influence is the same you could have done what you've always done but instead you were influenced by what I, was I happening was doing what i always was i just had lifted i just no, you took didn't. off the filter no, I was didn't. able to speak more filter no, because I've been canceled. No, they can't didn't. cancel me twice. You would have went, you would have went right back to doing what you did. Your little live streams, your little orphan nanny, everything that you was doing, you would have done the same thing. You Look were in videos. I do the exact same thing. I do rants in the car. Exact same thing. What am I right. doing different? No, no, because you done been now with Aflac. You done been with the, uh, this side. <laughs> yeah, you done been with that side. To people, that's been, not changing my brand. But you wasn't my doing that. Making videos. But you wasn't doing that before the broke ass niggas. So I'm you're stupid. Not. Right. So you're stupid because you was influenced. Whereas black How people is it influenced are, to be talking where black, to where black people are affected by their conditions that they have to get out of. So I agree when you say, uh, my daddy was this, so I'm going to be that. But then there also is an element, and this ain't uh, a, a black thing. There's also an element of whatever happens to one generation affects another. That's not a black thing. That's any generation. It could be Chinese, white, whatever. Whatever goes through one generation can go to another. And then when it takes a generation saying, we're not going to do like that. Because you can do stuff subconsciously because that's how you grew up. If a, a, a hillbilly grew up as a hillbilly, if they ever want to get into corporate, they have to stop that generation of being hillbillies. I'm just trying to take a normal example so you can understand. So it's one thing to do something intentional. The statement you made about I'm going to be this uh, rapist because my father was a rapist, that's intentional. And then there's another where you didn't know any better, and then you woke up and said, I'm going to be better. And that's what we teach. What we teach is I could be like my father. 
I could be like what my father was in the past. What I did was said, no, I'm a, I made a conscious decision to not use his life as an excuse for my life. So even that is an influence. And so now I'm going to correct you. Being influenced is not a stupid thing. I only called you stupid because you used an, uh, an analogy and then I just showed it how it was you. We're all influenced. Whether it influences you for the good or bad is predicated on how you in turn conduct yourself. You can have a. You this can. implies that there's been change. How have I changed aside from, okay, he asked me to talk in an interview. I'll do that. That's not changing. That's just talking. My same content. I'm not parroting anybody else's messaging. I'm still saying the exact same thing in the exact same format as I always had. I'm just now invited on shows. How, how, what are you talking about influenced? When you go back and watch this, you'll see that when I first said um, about you changing, you said you changed because of everything that happened. Now you don't want to be influenced or changed because you said we were stupid when realized you're stupid because you already had said that you changed for it. So you can't yeah, have I it both ways. Like, you oh, know, we got a slogan where we call, we got this thing where we call white people the devil because they speak with a forked tongue. <laughs> so that's kind of what you just did. You spoke like a devil. Where one thing, where one minute you say one thing and then another minute you say something else. We're yeah, not supposed I, to do that. And the fact that I was like, okay, I've been canceled. So now I can say what you I were actually influenced. Say without, no, no, no. You I've were influenced canceled. by being canceled. And so you resorted to this. Okay. Just say you were stupid. Just say you were stupid. Say, Lily, I was stupid. Just say it. It's okay. It's all right. I was stupid for saying that. I should have never you. said that. Thank you. Give her a hand. I should have never said that. In this country, you should always make sure you never say any word that you're not supposed to because because you don't want to piss off anybody. Well, no. You know what? No. I'm actually glad. I may have been stupid, but I'm glad I was stupid because I'm glad that somebody like me can come out and actually say a word and not give a fuck about the crowd, not give a fuck about the cancel culture because I care about freedom of speech. I care about your right to say whatever the fuck you want, and I care about my right to say whatever the fuck you want. But, but your whole claim, the whole whole thing has been, oh, she's just done all this for attention. That's retarded because you have to calculate what, what what's the attention? Is it good attention? Is it bad attention? If I just wanted attention, I would have done something like the hawk to a girl, done something that's not <laughs> offensive, that's not going to piss anybody off because there's a lot of money in there. You think marketers want to work with me? You think ad, if there's affiliate marketers that want to work with me? Yeah. No. Yeah. So why? Who? Who? I have had what? none. <laughs> And the before you mentioned the beer ad, the guy sent me a case of beer. I gave him a shout out. Didn't I didn't make, know about dollars on Rumble. You know what? I didn't even know that. About deals that I forgot jokes. about the. I How forgot about the beer the ad. I wasn't. I was just gonna say it's what coming. I wasn't even gonna bring it. I forgot. I had, I was watching the interviews. Was fulfilled. So I saw the beer part, and just understand, I'm not against your free speech. Re remember, the beginning of this conversation was to get you just how I got you right now. I said I want my audience to see that these lily white women are just like white men. I don't have an issue with nothing that you do. But now when I go out there and I say, listen, y'all think these white women is innocent? They are not. Because you're not. So what are white we women, guilty of? Okay, innocent, guilty. Y'all guilty of the, y'all oh. guilty, y'all are guilty of being the same way as your male counterparts. What the fuck you know, is white, that? I'm about to break it down. So what, here's what that means. Are you saying this because black men want white women and you're trying to show them? Yes. Like, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, Ralph. Yes. Ralph, listen, Ralph gets it. Thank I understand you, Ralph. It. Exactly I what. finally got it. Yeah, I finally understood yeah, it. You're trying to stop your brothers because from picking up a white, white woman. Women, yeah. Listen, white women get a I'm going to tell you, Lily, I'm pretty sure every nigga that contacted you. <laughs> I, I bet you some of them wanted to holler at you, didn't they? They did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> more black guys hit on me than white yeah. guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ralph, that's why I'm doing this interview. The stop I'm finally figured that's it what out. I'm doing this <laughs> I finally figured it out. I'm trying to help out. my brothers. I'm trying to help them stop loving Lily. That's all I'm trying to do. And so when you I can, guarantee can, you, for you, I just said the hard R. <laughs> but say, I, I guarantee nobody you, a lot of them probably listen, hit her, or hit, tried to slide in the DM. Nobody, then they, yeah, yeah. Listen, I want if I could let the white world know, nobody cares whether you say it with a hard R or not. If they're gonna be offended, they're gonna be offended whether you say it that because I, I don't even think when you said it on the video, you, I don't think you said it with a hard R, no, right? She didn't. No. You just said broke ass niggas. Say it for us one more time. Say it how you said it. Broke ass niggas. There you go. Now when she said that. It wasn't no hard art, but it still got the same vitriol in return. 
So never no, think that. Like, there's a big difference between hey nigga and hey fuck you nigger. There's nah, a big... no. You know what's the difference in what you said? Because you could say fuck you nigger, and it's the kind, it's the tone that you're saying it behind. You could say fuck you nigger, and it's the tone. Fuck you nigger, or hey nigger, how you doing? The tone or context so you is what's gonna make it. The, the context she's saying is what's she make got it. the same heat from saying it with no, the A I'm version saying, that it, that if she would have said the hard R, right, she might have well yeah, just said saying, R. R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying, Ralph. It doesn't matter which way you say it. It's how you would say. It. Even to a cool person, even to a black person, like make it black. If a black said person it, said, dude, when I met Sneeko, the first thing I walked up, I walked up to Sneeko. I was like, "Hey, what's up, my nigga?" He's black. He didn't care. Who, who you said that to? Sneeko. Sneeko is a streamer. Who's Sneak? Oh, yes. but Sneeko, you know, he a special retarded type of black, though. You know, he not the right okay. kind of black. You think he's a coon? He's kind of coon. That's why. Yeah, bit. he's a coon. Yeah, he's yeah. a coon type of black. Like this is why I got Lily on here for all my coon niggas out there. But even Tommy if you make Sotomayor's it black, of coon? <laughs> is who? Do you think Tommy Sotomayor is a coon? My I think audience. it's a black guy who's got his head well adjusted and actually wants to see the country Tommy, improve. Listen, Tommy, I, I wouldn't call Tommy a coon because Tommy is my brother. But, but Tommy if he was wasn't, front- would you say that? I'm about to tell you, but Tommy <laughs> was fronting when he had you. I'm going to answer. All right, go ahead. Tommy was, front- Tommy was fronting when he had you on the show. Tommy is a, Tommy is a character. So when the show is on, he's going to degrade black women, but he's with black women. He's going to talk. He knows how to excite the live so when the cameras is on he know exactly what to say on instagram he knows exactly what to post when the cameras is off so he's a show it's almost like charleston white how charleston white is a character you can't listen to nothing that he says that's tommy tommy does not believe the shit that he says online so when he had you on his live and made you feel all cozy like this is a good nigga right here he's my friend it was just an act that's all it was. He's playing a character like Andy Kaufman or something. Is that what you're saying? Like, uh, like you know Charleston Andy White. Charleston yeah, White Charleston is White. better. Like, Charleston but, White says whatever controversy. Yeah, I actually know things, for a fact that's not true, but I'm not going to say anything. Well, you're going to have to break it down. Bust me out right now. Oh, uh, no. I, I, I'm not a tunnel tale, but I know you're full of shit on that case. I'm not. But, uh, well, you're going to have to prove me wrong. And if you can, I will accept being wrong. So the floor I'm is yours. Wrong by, by kind of. Um, are you saying he was one of the? Are you saying he was one of the black guys? I'm not saying nothing. All I know is <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask Tommy now because we're gonna do a show. I'm gonna say Tommy, I had Lily on the show, and she said you might have been one of them white guys. I didn't say nothing. I never said nothing. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have All to step it up. You're wrong. <laughs> now you see how she's saying I'm wrong. She put that thing up there. What, right, do Tommy, think, Captain, sound, what do you think, Captain? What do you think? It sounds like she's saying. It sounds like she's saying Tommy tried to holler. It well, like saying, um, what do you think? Would you put that past him? I don't know. So I, I've only known Tommy for about uh, maybe six months, and so what I've known, he. But you know, I don't mm. know. Did Tommy smash? They asked me. Did Tommy smash? No, Tommy smash. I, she didn't say Are that. Are you kidding me? No. Uh, so you wouldn't. So you wouldn't date Tommy? I don't. I don't. I don't smash people. I do interviews with. I didn't fuck. Okay, him. so so if y'all didn't do the interview, you would have you would have smashed him if y'all didn't do the interview. No, I don't. I don't have sex with random people. I have sex okay. with my friend. Okay, and you got a boyfriend currently? Or no, no, but if I had a boyfriend, if you had one, it would just be okay. Yeah. okay. Believe it or not, I'm gonna have to. She said earlier she she hadn't whore. slept out of her race or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna have to check with Tommy. It sounds like Tommy tried to holler. We go. I'm gonna find it's, out because it I think sounds like he might show. have actually, but yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't want to get Lily in trouble. I'm, she, she, I'm gonna text him right now. I'm gonna say she didn't say that. 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 She didn't. She didn't say it. She didn't say that. Let's be. I ain't clear. gonna say. I ain't gonna say that you. I'm. A, I'm. I'm she not gonna never lie. Said that. So I'm not gonna say that you said that. She didn't say but that. But I am gonna imply that you did and see what he said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me ask you this, and I'll ask the super chats, What's and we'll get y'all out okay. of here. I won't keep it all night. It's right. been really fun, though. Uh, actually, uh, Ada Wolf says, "I understand the captain feels that blacks are Jews. How does he account for the new covenant with Christ? Christ's death." What difference does it make if he's Jewish or not? The uh, the covenant that covenant was fulfilled. Um, the covenant that Christ had is only with Israel. So Matthew one twenty one, the angel of the Lord said he came to redeem his people. Matthew fifteen and twenty four, Christ said, "I'm not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel." So yes, we are under the new covenant, but that is only for Israelites. So if you're not an Israelite, God does not love you. 
Facts. Right. Okay. Now that's the answer, bro. Yeah, that's the answer. All right. So, where do we want to take it from here? Like, uh, what do you guys want to? How you want to finish with this? I, I'm good. I actually, yeah. I didn't expect to do two hours. I didn't um, either. I didn't. The time, the time kind of flew kinda by. by. It flies by. Yeah. We're having fun. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I, I think I got my point across. Lily, excellent host, man. You keep being that typical white woman that we teach about, and that's not a no disrespect. That typical just, white woman that all you black men want. That, that, like, <laughs> is, is Tommy one of them? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is Tommy, is Tommy one of them? I ain't saying shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what was she saying? That, that, I'm, saying nigga is, I'm saying yes, nigga. That's what she's saying. <laughs> she can't say it. No, no, she's a. Uh, she she, hey, listen, she ate her fingernail. She nervous because a lady Tommy never thing. tells. A lady never tells. A lady never tells. Uh, now, uh, anything you want to finish with uh, here, Lily? Uh, say to the captain or say to the audience. And thank you for spending so much time. I didn't plan to keep it this long, uh, but oh, I'm, no. I'm glad you did. It was a lot. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm just saying, at the end of the day, it's the internet. So people are gonna have whatever opinion they want. Apparently, to most of the internet, I'm a Jew, I'm a grifter, I'm a mud shark, whatever the fuck that... What does mud shark mean? That means you have sex with black men or have had sex with black That's men. That's false. Um, what's the other claim? I don't know. But you can believe whatever the fuck you want at the end of the day, but, you know, I'm just doing my own thing, so... And we, I it. like you a lot, and uh, I always have fun when you're on the show. Uh, and so, uh, and I like the captain too. Black, so that means a lot. <laughs> Ralph is black. Yeah. yeah. You said well, Ralph is black. I'm from Memphis, oh. hey, and I got you know oh. I'm, I'm a felon too. You know I'm I can say I can say it if I want. I got the I got the pass. I got the pass, Captain, because you know you can say it because you watch. It. You can say it. Whenever but really, you want. Captain, let me Captain ask you this. Person. I know I can say it, and I've said it on the show. He heard me say it. I don't say it when he's here, just out of respect for the captain. But uh, and I'm the host, right? You know I'm trying to keep it neutral. But uh, I say it on the show all the time, uh, and I say it when I'm singing. You know we talked about the beef with uh, Drake and and uh, Kendrick Lamar. Uh, you know, when Kendrick Lamar is saying uh, the N word, like, I don't stop, like, I sing it along with him during the song. And I know some black people d I think that that's racist uh, and that you shouldn't do that. Uh, but I take the Chris Rock, uh, you know, approach, right? He's like, when you're singing your Dr. Dre and your Snoop, uh, whatever, you don't have to stop. Like, that's ridiculous. Uh, and that's from Chris Rock. I m maybe you think he's a coon captain i don't know but uh no to, no, to, no 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 to, no to me yeah, it's just, I, it's, it's it just was, part um, of the vocabulary right like if you're saying now if i you know if you're using the hard r and you're and it's like you said it's the tone and you're like fuck you you know like that uh and that's one thing uh but if i'm saying you know like she said you know uh i'll just i'll just go ahead and say it uh if i said uh uh, if I'm, you know what, if I'm singing it in a song or I'm like, God, mm -hmm. this is stupid, ass, you know what I mean? Like I, right, it doesn't right. have a racial, uh, connotation to it right. to me, uh, because it's such a part of the culture. It's such a part of the vernacular, right? That, um, it, it really almost doesn't have a racial connotation to right. it. Uh, now if it has the hard yeah, R, um, mm -hmm. which I've used that word, but not to a black person. Uh, I've called white people that word, uh, actually, which is pretty funny. But anyway, uh, <laughs> I always make that delineation. I have said that word, but I've called white people that word. Um, right. But, um, right. but yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's such a part of the, of the vernacular. It's such a, such a part of the culture. Like I'm pretty if, sure if, it's if, part, if, if, I, if I'm singing the my... song, am, am I supposed to not say it or what? Like what? Like just stop. Oh, myself listen, or... man, I'm not here to police what anybody says. I'm not that guy. I'm the last. I mean, is that person. racist though? Or is that offensive? To me? Yeah. On a live stream, it's hard for anything to be racist. To That's me. true. Meaning, yeah, like, yeah. as we're having this conversation, Lily done said nigga about a million times. <laughs> you ain't hear me budge. Yeah. No, no. You she don't. called, you know, I don't, I don't budge because it's a live stream. Online. Now, Black in front of me saying of anything, juice. it depends. And it, and it depends the environment. So, like, let's say if I'm on the street teaching and some white guy comes up and he's mad at what I'm saying and he says, nigga, it's expected. If I'm in the gym, though, if I'm in the gym working out and somebody comes, if a white guy comes up and say it to me, it might be different because it's really the reasoning behind it. I don't have those relationships with, uh, I'll give an example. I had this, so I'm at this job. It's like maybe 2007 um, uh, or something like that. And I'm riding in the car. 
I'm working. I'm I'm out in uh, Ohio working with two white guys, Ryan and Blair. And so we work. We had to stay out there about a week. We working together. And, you know, we laughing and chopping it up and shit like that. And we coming from the restaurant and Blair in the back seat. And he yeah. just yells out, "My nigga!" Like that. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Right. Ron. Ron, the driver. Ron is driving. He just put his head down like that. And I immediately said, "We'll never be that cool where you can say that to me." Because I don't even at least have that type of relationship with him. But could you? Now, if I would, I would first. Because have I grew up with some some black guys that would be cool with me saying that around them, and I grew up with some that wouldn't be cool with me saying that around them. Right, right? that's what I'm saying. I've never been that cool with white people to to for them to say that around me. In the, no, I wonder in the why. I don't. I just like I'll give another example. So when I, I had this job in corporate America, they found my videos when I'm talking about Jewish people and stuff like that. And the president of the company was Jewish. He pulls me in the office, and he says, "You know, we saw your videos." And he says, "You know, but you don't say that here." And I said, "I never would say it here because this is work. This is what I do outside of work." And he was fine. So I don't think I would ever be cool with a white person in front of me in a normal setting. Not at work. I mean, just like uh, you're a friend of yours. Is what I I'm don't saying. have white friends. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you the closest. Listen, the Rob, closest you the closest. You, have to you a like white the friend. coolest. You like the coolest white guy I know. Well, you know I talk what? about I like you that. all the time. I say, Ralph, <laughs> let me get up there and say anything I want. So online, if you were to say it, I probably would. It would. It doesn't affect me when white people say anything online because it's just online. I think it's just meant to get a reaction. So to Lily, if you would have said that around a, a, if a bunch of people like me would have heard you say that. I don't think we would have had this get a fire type of vibe, but everybody's not like me. You got some people that are not from that generation that are going to hear that or that mindset that are going to hear that and say, she shouldn't say that. And I think that's where. How do you, you know, think they would respond if I went up to black, a group of black people and said nigger? It depends. You, well, you said you grew up and you said you're around black people, right? Mm -hmm. And you said you say it around them, right? Not around them. No. Why don't you say it around them? Because I don't want them to get violent and beat me you up. You don't want them to fuck you up. That's what. <laughs> there we go. Got it. I was say, that would probably be a bad idea. You yeah. said they don't jump to violence. I was just saying, you Wait. yourself just admitted they would jump to violence if I said that. Because I said they would fuck you up. Well, that's what you think. Yeah. I, I, but they probably captain now what you were saying no i'm not lying. would they not no. though let me ask you this uh that might be that uh, very well might happen well, that's why I was like, the reason why I right asked, you would admit that, that wait, wait let me ask you no hold on hold on wait let me ask you right that very well might happen though if she went up and said that right yeah that is an option right? <laughs> yeah, that's, it's an you, option you getting your ass <laughs> yeah, it's an option it's definitely an option <laughs> yeah. but that's why i was asking you because initially you said in your town there's black people so i thought maybe you had an experience of saying the word around it but you don't have that experience so it really just depends who you say it around you th these generations well, you don't say it about around black people because they immediately jump to violence which you seem to to not i want to say it wouldn't be but yet violent. you yourself just said they would no no it wouldn't be it wouldn't be violent it would it was funny to say that they would fuck you up but it wouldn't they I don't very think well it would be violent right it wouldn't it would. be violence right in fact no, i should here. test this actually don't test it. Yeah, I would, don't test no, it. No, I want you to. I, I was gonna tell you to test it and no, then let me know. Don't test. Message it. me on Twitter no, no, and let me know no, how no. that went. Like, send me don't the video. It. But the re what I was gonna say was, <laughs> don't do it. The violent part probably wouldn't happen right away, but a checking would probably happen away. What exactly right is away. checking? The checking would be like, let's say you say the word, they were like, "Bitch, what you saying?" Or they might say, "Excuse you." Like something like that is gonna happen. And then again, That's it depends awesome on. Too. Yeah, I guess. So. Right, it especially if they don't know you. So you like a stranger. <laughs> coming up to random black people and then just saying hey what's up nigga you're going to get something said to you and then now depending on how you explain it will depend on if an ass whipping is coming or if they're gonna be like oh she just you know this white girl you're not helping white. your cause any you said depending on how expl i explain it so say i right. just down and i'm like no i said nigger so now you think they're justified to beat my ass i know no i'm not saying nobody is justified but to, you think they would beat my ass if I didn't. Yeah, this ain't about this ain't about justification at all. I the know. Scenario, but would they? Right. Be? She's asking a question. Would they be justified? No, they would. No, 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 okay. no, no. Okay. You're not. Okay. Right. Nobody. Right. Nobody. Nobody is justified. Nobody is justified to hit anybody over words. I think there we all agree on that. My right, we agree on that. But let me finish giving you the scenario. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Go so, ahead. Finish. Right. So now let's say you a random white woman. You walk up to let's say three 
black people. They could be boy, girl, have you said. And you just walk up to them and just call them niggas. First of all, it's going to depend on what you say. Because you might say it in a cool, jovial way. And they might laugh you off. Because, see, you like just this lily white girl. You might not get nothing. Then you might get the kind that might say, bitch, what you say, <laughs> FY, FY, um, XYZ or whatever. And then it depends on how the conversation goes. And it depends on the character. Because they're... now if you go up to some like corporate or, or coon type of black people, it might not mean nothing. But if you go into a black neighborhood with some a, a element of black men or black women that don't tolerate that, it might get some. So it all depends on how you do it. But in no way. In that case, you're just saying there's a likelihood. I'm going to say if I said nigger to some black people, I'm going to say 85% chance. No, I would say 50 get my 50. ass whooped. Nope, I would say 50 50. It's 50 50. There's stuff. a high I chance. Think there's a high chance. In your, in your no, city, don't, tomorrow, test don't test it. Don't hey, test tomorrow, it. You, don't got, test you got like three or four brothers, right? And what in her whole town? Tomorrow, <laughs> have your brothers. Like, tomorrow, oh, what with you should brothers. do is you should take your brother. You should go into the local town, find some niggas, have your brothers like sit in the car or some shit so they don't see them. And you should test it, video it, see what happens. No, don't do that. Don't do that. And I think all video. I would do is prove my point. We're going to see. No, we're mm. not gonna see because I don't want to see Lily hurt, get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but my whole point is, you know, I don't know. I just grew up in a place where it was said uh, pretty freely, and usually it was amongst me and my white friends talking to each other, calling each other the N word, right? You know and what I mean? Yeah. If like, I could add one more element, is that a, you know, you know what I mean? Like we'd be talking to each yeah. other, and we all listen to rap, we all listen to Three Six Mafia, like I said, we're, and we're calling each other that word. Uh, and we right. had black friends, and we, they will say it. They wouldn't care. Maybe there would be one that would care, right? Or, or you know, the guy I bought coke from, or the guy I bought weed from. I damn sure wouldn't say it around him, right? Uh, you know, there were some people, you know, that would would give a fuck, right? Um, but you know, in my, in my friend group, uh, black or white, but mostly it was you know, mostly I had black friends, but most of my friends were white. Uh, we would call each other the N word all the time, right? It's, it was just used freely. Like, you know, I yeah, feel that's like what I'm saying. I don't have no, I, I mean, I ain't, I, know, Rob, I just feel like it's part of the language, like part of the yeah, culture. It's, almost, it's, you know, it's, it's always like, going to be of rap music. Like, really. like Ralph, how you have the notion as much as you broke down, how you say it amongst your people. Right. And you and I are cool. You still have not said it because you have <laughs> well, put it in your mind. You're just not going to say it. And I'm not saying that you got to say it. I'm, I'm making a point. So, it, and you're showing that it's environmental. So, you know, in this environment, you're not going to say it. But let's say when I exit the stage and let's say if you and Lily is here, you probably would say it. I would say it. So, right. So because you're given a certain level of respect with the word. So well, I'm speak. giving respect to you. I'm respecting you, actually, as a that's guest. That's what I'm saying. That's, a, right. As a, so you're giving, as you're your one white a, friend uh, that you. Uh, that's right. The as one, your one white friend, friend that I got. The one white friend, uh, I'm giving you that. And, uh, you Thank know, you. so that's, that, no, that's no, why. No, I appreciate that. And so that tells us that although we have the freedom to say any word that we want, there's some words that we just don't say because of the respect that we have for the person that we're around. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm not trying. I'm not the nigger police. I'm not trying to police <laughs> anybody. I'm not trying to police anybody from saying the word. I don't care. Because, like, if y'all listen to me talk when I'm speaking, I say all type of crazy shit. Oh, yeah. Ralph knows. I know. I already know. Ralph, Ralph seen, Ralph I remember seen we pulled that book Jewish. out. I'll never forget that. Yeah, oh, Ralph, my listen, God. I, Jesus. I'm the one who had the Hitler book. He pulled out Hitler the Jewish shit, guy. Literally. So I, I, say, I do crazy stuff. Yeah. So I get it. But I own up to it. I don't like, nah, you know what I mean? I'm just cool and I'm just trying to be with the guys. I don't do that. I'm saying what it is. So that's that's kind of like it, man. But I appreciate y'all having me yeah, on, Ralph. Man, I it was awesome. I actually really else. enjoyed yeah. This is one of my favorite appearances. Uh, the, yeah, the, definitely. Had, I enjoyed sure. it too. Lily, you yeah. was a hell of a guest. I appreciate you um coming on this live stream. Mm -hmm. I do too. Yeah, it was really fun being called racist. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. See, yeah. well, now you had a whole new experience. Well, she's used to it now, you know, like, uh, you know. But, uh, Lily, tell them where they can find you, and thank you for spending so much time. I didn't think we would go this long with it, but, you know, it ended up being so fun. Uh, that, uh, um, I'm on I'm on X, uh, the Lily Gaddis, so all my shit is linked on there, but that's about it. All right, cool. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I actually follow her. Well, very cool, yeah. and I 
I'll yeah. follow both of you, uh, and I'll keep following you. And I keep. Yeah, having... you wasn't following. Oh, you said you follow both of us already, right? You yeah, I already follow. You know, I'm about to say, yeah, 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 follow you. yeah. We follow. We're mutuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, and I'll put your Twitter uh, in the chat as well. Okay. Uh, yep. Both Lily uh, and Captain Cesariak. Yes, and I want to have you both back on the show, both of you. Lily, you're quickly, Anytime. you're quickly getting close to Hall of Fame status yourself. Uh, she's been on here three or four yeah. times. She's, you know, oh she's, yeah. You're building see, your see, port- see, see that that that's that white privilege, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Like I had to wait, like I had to wait like three years of whooping ass on the channel before I get in there. White woman come in after four episodes. Hey, you close to getting into the fall of <laughs> That's because I'm nice. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just. Good evening to both of you, and I really no enjoyed sweat, it. Uh, and both of you no have, a, have a good one. And uh, all right, I'll, y'all I'll take it easy, man. Till next time. Yep, till next Thank time. Thank you. Thank you both. Right. Good night, Lily. Good night, Captain. Now that was fun. I have to say, can we get pause for that? Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.